So I'm gonna get you guys introduced. The rules are what Lauren says of the rules. True, true Dark Angel. I come up with the rules myself, you know? I gotta make them up as I go along. Right, let me get you guys introduced to the kids. So I did finish their makeovers. Oh, hold on. Yeah, let me uh, let me swap screens. Yeah, professional uh, streamer over here. Let me just get that sorted. <laughs> Close on the name. If you look up the spelling of my name in Google and translate and listen to the pronunciation, it's correct. So we'll help you. I'm gonna need to do that. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm definitely gonna need to do that. <laughs> Oh yeah, redeemed a highlighted message before Hun, did you see? No, sorry, uh, could you could you uh, resend it? Right, okay, so here is little baby Winnie. Now, as you can see, she has, oh, hold on, uh, my mouse is so sensitive. She has really chubby cheeks and like a, quite a wide jaw. And you'll notice as she gradually ages up, um, it defi she definitely grows into it. But right now she is dead cute. Like look at her little face, it's so cute. So after, some, uh, after adding some more skin details to her and getting her sorted, she was looking really, really sweet. And you'll see as she gradually ages up, she looks more and more like her dad. So you can see on her, I've gone ahead and put less freckles on her face because her mum has a lot of freckles and her dad doesn't have so much so she has a lighter skin tone because she's taking after her dad so she has a darker version of her dad's skin tone because obviously her mum is darker as well so i went ahead and made her um like sort of a darker skin tone than her dad but not as dark as her brother coda and then um yeah you can see like you know her whole her whole thing her eyes are so pretty they're honestly mesmerizing right like mesmerizing and then uh, we've got little Coda, who I think you guys are gonna like. Honestly, the skin details did him good. Like they did him good. Right, so you can see on Coda, Coda now has the same nose as his mum. So I went ahead and made sure he has the same nose as her. He also now has all of his mum's freckles as well. So you can see just from that, he has all of his uh, all of his mum's freckles. So he is looking, uh, he is looking more and more. Yeah, I changed his hair as well. Cause uh, before you guys remember when we was looking at him, he had a, like a really big forehead. No, no offense, Koda. Okay, you did have a five head, but let's not, let's just not beat around the bush. So now I've covered his five head up with some hair. <laughs> and when he grows up, he doesn't have a five head. I promise. Like he ends up, like both of them really grow into themselves. You'll see later on. Personally, I think they're both beautiful. Like I love them both so much. And I really like the fact that Koda ended up with black hair as well. I feel like maybe that come from Sylvie's side, like further back, like Sylvie's grandparents and things. I think some of Sylvie's grandparents had black hair, so it probably came from that. Did you change his ears? No, his ears are not changed. They are still non-existent. So I did pick a long hair because, you know, you can't really see him under there. Look, they're, mm, they're kind of, they are not really. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's what they're looking like. And oh my God, can we just talk about little Winnie's hair? Look at this little hair behind her. This is a, this is a hair by Crybaby Sims on sims for the no the sims uh sim domination and it's really really cute like this little uh these little braids behind her i thought it was very themed towards it this is her little outfit i gave her a few different ones as well though so she has this outfit and then she also has this outfit as well um which i think she looks really cute in and it's very very cottagey uh very sweet like look at her little face come on like you can't look at her little face i'm dead <laughs> Where are you from? Your accent sounds so familiar. I'm from Essex in the UK. So if you if you know that area. <laughs> Lauren, you missed a hydrate from somebody. Sorry, who was it? Kaylee with the hydrate as well. Thank you so much. I definitely feel like Sylvie would have braided her hair. Yeah, I got the same impression. So I was like, yeah, she definitely suits the braided hair, didn't she? Oh, I'm from Yorkshire. Not far away, Ellie. <laughs> Cottage core. Yes, we love it. Lauren, do you speak any other languages? Um, I When I was in school, I learned to speak French and I did it for five years and I still am really not any good. So I know how to say where I live. Um, I know how to say what my name is. Um, I know how to say uh, rabbit and I know how to say physiotherapist. And that's about as far as my five years of teaching goes. <laughs> Needless to say, I don't pick up languages very easily. Well, I pick up, I pick up specific words. So I know up to 10 in Spanish, um, German and in French. So I pick those up really quickly, but the rest, like just actual sentences. No, nah, it just, mm -mm, no, <laughs> no. Um, right. Okay. So they're the kiddos there. You've already seen them. And then I also went ahead and gave Erin her little uh, sash as well. Erin said that she thinks she looks great in game. She said she thinks she looks very cute. So I'm glad Erin agrees. <laughs> she looks very sweet. Um, yeah, you can see her. She's got a little thing on as well. And then obviously Harvey, Harvey, look at him. Look, it's so cute. Little stud. <laughs> 
That's all I know. That's all I know from Essex. So wait, what did you say before that? Ream? Oh, that does not get said anymore. That was like, like eight years ago, like five to eight years ago. <laughs> I think that that was being said. Yeah, it's definitely not, not a said thing anymore. <laughs> Hey, just wondering what uh, what were you doing in uni? So um, when I was in uni, I was studying IT management for business. So it was like half IT and then half uh, computing. So it was like coding and things like that. Um, but yeah, I'm not in uni anymore. <laughs> we called that quit. <laughs> Five years ago, that is ancient. Exactly. When you talk about things like that, you're like, wow, that's so long away. <laughs> that was ages ago. Um, right, okay, so we've got Vandika's uh, Redeemer Sim, and then we've also got Maya's Redeemer Sim. So we'll start off with Vandika, since Vandika was supposed to be from yesterday, but the gallery was down, so we couldn't actually get on the gallery to look. So, let me grab Vandika's um, gallery ID. Vandika, I might need you to resend the gallery ID, because for some reason, my handwriting just got really bad at the end of writing it, and I actually can't even understand what I wrote. <laughs> I see the Sims 4 AD Sad Sit, is that what it is? 80 sad sit or have I just spelt that really wrong? Uh, mock assistant with the follow as well. Thank you so much for the follow. The Sims 4 AD sad sit. Okay, yeah, it was that. Perfect, right. The Sims 4. The Sims 4. Beautiful Lolly I've been watching you since January 2019. Oh my so god. You and love you lot. Oh my Purple god, heart. Sheila, that is so sweet. And nine months, me and you have a Twitch baby together, Sheila. Thank you so, so, so much. Could we please get some claps, love, and hype in the chat for Sheila's nine months Twitch baby? And watching since January 2019, that is insane. I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for sticking around, babes. And we've also got Mocha with the T1 sub as well. Thank you so much, Mocha. Could we also get some claps, love, and hype in the chat for Mocha? Thank you so much for joining. I hope you enjoy your badge and your emotes as well. <laughs> You sound like all the boys in my class with their handwriting. <laughs> uh, right, let me turn on this. Okay, looks like we're in this. It looks like we're in the right place. Is this the right uh, gallery ID, uh, Thandika? Let me just make sure I'm not getting it right because uh, sorry, not getting it wrong because I'll end up looking on somebody else's gallery ID. Hi everyone, hugs. Ah, oh, we love you, Sheila. Thank you. <laughs> Would you recommend bust the dust pack? No. No, I would absolutely not. If there's going to be a pack that you don't get, bust the dust because I literally have it turned off all the time. So I never even use it. And also um, the other pack that I don't use is my first pet stuff. I use it a little, but like not that much. Bust the dust is evil. It really is. It really is. Yeah. Okay, perfect. We're on the right gallery. So who are we going to use? Have you got a specific family that you were thinking about me using? I kind of wanted to go for like one sim um because i normally go for like the single sims to join and then sort of let them get married and have kids and things <laughs> but two i hate it oh actually some of the build buy stuff i do use from batu but like not for gameplay it's useless useless i remember seeing you on youtube getting frustrated with it wait oh with the with the uh busted oh my god i don't want to talk about that that actually just frustrates me thinking about it <laughs> Lauren, do you use Batu? Okay, I have used some build by items from Batu. I will hold my hands up, but it's like very rare. It's very rare, okay? <laughs> I honestly like Scarlet Troutman the most. Is this is Troutman? Hold on, let me see her. Oh, she is dead sweet. And she definitely suits. She wants to be a country caretaker. She's cheerful and she's a goofball. Okay, I think we'll use her because I definitely like her. I really, really like her. And since she's your favorite as well, it like works for both of us. <laughs> My first pet stuff is the weird, awkward child of EA. Yeah, I don't even know. Oh, okay, she's come over and she's naked. She's naked. Uh, what was she wearing before? Like a little crop top and some high-waisted jeans. Okay, let's see if we can replicate. <laughs> I feel betrayed that you use Batu. Okay, I won't let you down anymore, you know? I, I'll stop using it. Would it make you feel better if I just stopped? What is this music? We need more. Oh, wait, should I swap to Cottage Living Music for our... For our um, crater sims or should i leave the original music on i'm not sure oh i always like big eyebrows in fact instead of me concentrating on eyebrows let me go back to skin details you're gonna be so so blown away by maya sims am i oh my god i'm excited i'm excited um hold on let me just check what type of skin she had on before um it looks like a sims 3 melancholic skin but maybe it's not because i think i have most of those her face is so pretty she's honestly a natural beauty right she is honestly gorgeous like so naturally pretty that one's really cute on her quite like that mm. 
Okay, not those. Um, I'm not sure if she had any freckles. Thandika, did she have any freckles so I can like replicate? Love a good crater sim time. I love like starting my uh, starting my days off with a little crater sim time. I'm starting my stream off with a little crater sim time. It's always the way I just want to bring it in, you know? Okay, but her body is snatched. Look at that bod. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> Maya made Chloe in The Sims like Chloe in the in the person, and she is stunning. Oh my god, that's so that's so that's so cool though that she made like uh, that she made. I could never do that, honestly. I am not that um, I am not that talented that I could. I I really struggle to make like real people in The Sims. So whenever anybody does, I'm like good for you because <laughs> I can't. Booty be popping. <laughs> As long as you just use but to build by things, I have no issue with it. Okay, yeah, I'm not using it for gameplay. I, I promise. I promise I'm not using it for gameplay. If I was, I'd hold my hands up even further. <laughs> um, I think I might go for this skin. Let me get some eyelashes on her and see how we're looking. I think I'm gonna go with like not too too crazy eyelashes. Kind of like the kind of like those ones. Mm, actually, I kind of like the ones that go out a bit more. Hi, Elizabeth. I'm glad to finally be able to catch a stream. I binge watch the series on YouTube. My name is Lauren too. Hi, Lauren. How are you? What are you up to? <laughs> Welcome to the stream as well. Way better watching live. So I've said to many people, but I really hope that's true. <laughs> but who has gameplay? No, exactly. Which is why you don't need it. <laughs> she made me so pretty. Chloe, I'm sure you are gorgeous anyway. So I'm sure she just replicated you in The Sims. <laughs> Hi, Vixen. Uh, I made it to another stream and I'm so happy. How are you all? I'm good, thanks, Vixen. How are you? I'll hydrate from uh, Elo as well. Thank you so much. And we've also got Angel with the follow as well. Thank you so much as well. Mm. Lauren, you missed the sippy sippy. Sorry. I'm getting a bit distracted. Um, right, okay, so we've got the skin on her. Let me give her some little freckles. This seemed like the type of freckles that she had on before. So I'm just going to give her a few little ones like that. Just tiny little ones. Lauren, you got me hooked on Capole's Me Eyes after one of your must-have CCs on YouTube. I can't stop downloading. I love them. Well, actually, they used to be one of my favorite eyes. And then just recently, I've been using Sims 3 Melancholics eyes all the time. Um, I've completely, like, changed my tune. But I absolutely love them still. I still always go back to them. But recently, I've kind of swapped to go for, like, more realistic eyes. Sometimes my style in The Sims changes. And I go for, like, you know, particular things. Depending on what I'm, like, vibing with. <laughs> I love all your skin details. Where did you get them? Greta, I've got a video coming this week um, on all of my skin details and all of my favorites for this year. So um, you'll be able to check them out then. <laughs> what is your default skin in Creator Sim? Emily, if you wanted to check it out, I believe one of my moderators have linked it in the Discord. Um, so if anybody wants to uh, route Emily to the Discord, uh, you can go grab them from now. Um, right, okay, I think that's good. What color are our eyes underneath? I want to kind of match match the contacts okay so she, so you've gone ahead and given her dark uh dark blue eyes is that what you is that what you want thandika is it going to be some dark blue eyes because i can um i can find some dark blue ones hold on let me see if i've got any dark blue ones so something like that i think is really pretty on her too yeah definitely okay good 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 let me see if i can get the right shade of blue mm, those ones are quite nice kind of like dull though so maybe something else uh, we have the real um, Mel M Malia with the follow and Steli Family Adventure with the follow as well. Thank you so much for the follows, guys. Oh, those ones are quite pretty. I like those. Those are pretty. Might need those with some little flex, but they could work. These ones are nicer because they're they're always brighter for me, at least. <laughs> I know, right? Wait until Lauren sees your Sims also. Am I going to be like shocked? Am I going to be very impressed? Um, oh my god, look at those eyes. They look through your soul. Okay, Thandika, what do we think about these eyes? Are these not light, are these not dark enough? Or do we think that they are also piercing through your soul too? <laughs> I love your taste in CC. Oh, I'm glad you like it. I spend a lot of time. I spend a lot of time um, collecting my pieces of CC. So I appreciate that. I love them. Perfect. Great, great, great. Let me uh, change the eyebrows up because I never really got a chance to finish them. Those ones are... Mm, no, no, they're not really what I'm looking for. Um, let me see. I didn't really see her having like huge eyebrows, but like not super small either. Kind of like saw in the middle. 
<laughs> I made a sim yesterday and she is beautiful. It is not all the time I say that about my sims, but I worked a wig on her. Oh my God, Daisy. We love it. We love the commitment to making a sim. Honestly, I've always, I've always found the same thing. Whenever I've made a sim and I've made a sim really quickly, I don't really like them that much. And then I go back to them over a consecutive amount of days and then go and give them makeovers. And I love them even more, like more and more. Sometimes I do a really bad makeover and then I revert back to the original and then go and do it again the next day. But I've always found I've made my prettiest sims that way or personally for me the prettiest sims like uh like uh uh sylvie i made sylvie over the course of like probably about five days so i felt like every night i would go asleep and think about what i wanted to do on the next day and then i'd decide what i wanted to do <laughs> i was committed <laughs> Is this a Redeemer Sim? Yeah, so this one is the, the Redeemer Sim from yesterday. And then we've got another Redeemer Sim from Maya after this one as well. Um, and then we're going to go into sorting out and planning all of the wedding for Sylvie and Harrison. I'm so excited. <laughs> right, so she's got um, she's got really, really blonde hair. Like, um, not, not super blonde. It's not like platinum, but it is very blonde. So we'll see if we can find something to match. Um, I think it was actually more like this one. Was it more like that? Maybe. This is a new hair by S Club that I just downloaded today. And I'm kind of loving it. Very pretty. I like it. <laughs> I feel like if I work on a sim too quickly, I don't um I don't like them as much. Yeah, I'm exactly the same. I feel like I rush them and then I don't like them as much at the end. I have all of S Club's hairs. They're so good. I know. The hair is so pretty. Isn't it really gorgeous? Do we like? Yeah. Did you get wedding CC for barn wedding? No, I completely forgot. I should have downloaded some, shouldn't I? I'm such an idiot. Right, so from what I saw what she was wearing on here, let me just make sure I'm like matching up. She had these like uh, high-waisted jeans on with like a little cropped like tucked in top. So we'll see if we can match it up with some CC that I've got. Um, so I think we're looking more, probably not high enough there. Hi, Arissa. I just came in to say hello. I randomly woke up at 3 a.m. Have a great time, guys. I'm gonna go back to sleep. No worries, Arissa. I hope you sleep like a baby. Thank you so much for coming in and saying hello while you woke up. <laughs> but go back and get some sleep because otherwise you're not gonna be able to sleep properly. <laughs> mm, that one's kind of nice too. What is the name of the hair? It's, if you go on uh, the Sims 3 resource and then you look up uh, the S Club. It's their most newest hair, so you'll be able to download it. Ah, okay. These ones look more like the originals, I think. So I'm going to give her those. What websites do you use to find CC? I normally only use uh, three websites. I use my Tumblr page because I reblog a lot of uh, CC on there and I get a lot of you know CC come through from people that I follow. And then I always check every single morning. This is actually such, such an obsession. Every single morning before I go and play Sims, I check the Sims 3, uh, sorry, the Sims 4 resource or the Sims resource, not Sims 4. And then I also check um, uh, Sim Domination. Every single day I check for new stuff coming out. So I check all the feature creations. I know there's actually um, something in me. That is crazy, and I do that, so... Sorry. <laughs> oh, and also, yeah, my Patreon as well. I have a lot of uh, I have a lot of people that I follow on Patreon, so I always get the early access stuff. I check Simdom uh, religiously. Yeah, every single day I'm about to go play The Sims, I check, and I'm like, you are strange. Like, <laughs> you can't even load up The Sims without checking for new content. Are you kidding me? I've been adoring this series on YouTube, but has to check it out live. But hi, Jay. Welcome to the stream. I hope you enjoy. Honestly, way better watching live. Well, so I've told everybody it's going to be really funny if I actually watch it back and I'm like, nah, this isn't great. <laughs> if I'm like, nah, I prefer watching it on YouTube now. <laughs> and this whole time I've been like, oh, it's so much better watching live. You can actually be, you know, interacting. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> Thank you, Emily, for the hydrate as well. Thank you so much. Um, I'm trying to find a top similar to what she had on before. It was like a, it was like scrunched at the side. Who created this sim? This sim was from Thandika. Um, this is the creator sim redeem from yesterday. And then we're going to be doing another creator sim redeem um, after this one for um, today. Um... um Okay, it should not be this difficult to find a top that is scrunched at the side. Like, <laughs> maybe I need to, like, not look too into having a scrunch at the side. Maybe just a crop top will do. 
Oh, I actually kind of like this. I actually kind of like that on her. I think that's sweet. Mm, let me see what colors. Oh, that one's really nice with the with the flowers, the butterflies on the back. I actually really like that on her. What do you guys think? Or maybe I'll go with the black one so it matches her black. Um, I'll go with that so it matches the black shoes. She looks just like Hannah from Pretty Little Liars. Oh, <gasps> she does kind of, doesn't she? She does. Yeah, I actually think she does. <laughs> Lauren, you wouldn't be our CC queen if you didn't check every day? Yeah, exactly. What type of CC queen would I be if I didn't check new CC every day? Like, God, I can't, can't be having that. What type of queen does that? <laughs> she does, doesn't she? Yeah, that's great. You like her, Thandika? Okay, great. <laughs> I'm glad you like. Um, I'm going to give her as her other trait. So she's a goofball and she's cheerful. I might give her something that, like, uh, where's the animal lover trait? You know when they're like an animal enthusiast and they love animals? I'm going to give her one of the new traits. Mm, can't remember what it was though. Was it animal enthusiast? I think so. Yeah, animal enthusiast. Okay, let me give her that one since she has the country caretaker one as well, so it kind of matches. I love the jeans. Yeah, I think they're popping. She looks honestly, she looks great. <laughs> uh, Brittany with the three love bits. You, Lolly, love. Oh, I love you too, Brittany. Thank you so much for the biddies. Please, could we get some claps, love, and hype in the chat for Brittany? <laughs> I was wondering what type of computer you use to play The Sims on and if you had a separate one for school, uh, work or not. So um, I have a custom PC that I had built for for me from PC Specialist, which the, uh, the, the specification is all down below in my uh, FAQs on Tumblr or down below in Twitch. And uh, when I was in uni or when I was going to uni, I had a laptop as well. So I had a Razer, um, a Razer Stealth. What was it called? It was a Razer 15 inch laptop so I could still play Sims on it when I was at uni and then also play Minecraft or whatever I wanted to play. So that was the other one that I had as well. There is a rustic romance wedding set you could download for this Let's Play. It's a bit Maxis match, but could be used for the venue. Oh, Chloe, could you send that to me on Discord in case I need it for the barn renovation today? Because I, I do want to use some CC on it. Okay, right. Scarlet is done. Thank you so much, Thandika, for the creator sim. I'm really sorry I couldn't do it yesterday, but the gallery was saying no. <laughs> so um, thank you very much. Hopefully we see Thandika. Sorry, not Thandika. <laughs> Scarlet. Hopefully we see Scarlet around and we're going to go ahead and jump into today's uh, Crazy Sim Redeem, which was from Maya and it's MGM Sims. Here we go. Let me check. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, I have a good Rustic Romance set. Uh, I have the Rustic Romance set and it's really good. Okay, well, if you guys suggest it, we might be able to just hop out, download it really quick before we play. Um, so we might be able to do that as well. You're gonna love her Sims, Lauren. Watch me be like, watch me be like blown away. <laughs> I'm currently watching part 11, so I won't be staying, but I had to come in here and say, yo, Billy and Teddy for his hair had to be wheezing. No, Brittany. <gasps> okay. Maya, what are these absolute snacks? What are these absolute snacks that have been hiding from me? Look at this. Oh my God, is this Chloe? Oh my God, Chloe, you look so good. <gasps> Oh my god, Chloe, you look so gorgeous. <laughs> Eden, I know. Look at her. Oh my god, she suits so well. She suits the pack so... Oh, look at those little mushroom earrings. Oh my god. Wait, are those... Oh, I need to download the earrings. Wait. <laughs> no, I need those earrings. Hold on. I'm so glad that you linked the CC in there. I'm downloading those earrings right now. What is this? Give me those earrings. Thank you very much for that link. <laughs> god i literally just downloaded them right this second the overalls i don't have those either do i oh wait or do i have those overalls no i think i do i think wait or do i the overalls are by madeline overalls by graffiti let me look those up too What's this? <laughs> me looking up all of sdc like i need this i need this let me see have i got these already no i don't okay i'm downloading that too <laughs> them cheekbones i know like what the what the how amazing are these sims? Oh my god, they're so gorgeous. They are so gorgeous. Oh, I love them all. I'm pretty sure I've used some of your sims before. Oh, he's such a snack. Look at him, our non-committal baby. Oh, you know what? Aria would love him. <laughs> Aria in the Whimsy Challenge would love him. 
think we're gonna need to add him into the whimsy challenge as well i might be coming back let me just uh give this a follow really quick in fact let me save him to my to my gallery and everything so i can come back to him <laughs> is she not follow worthy yes she absolutely is we told you her sims look amazing they're gorgeous okay to be honest i think eden is my favorite she is immediately standing out to me she suits the vibes those earrings are gorgeous the only issue is i'm not gonna have all of her cc and it's gonna take me ages to close my game and install the cc and come back so what we'll do is i'll make her with the cc that i've got and then i'll go back in and give her a makeover once i've installed the overalls and then also the little things for the minute i've got a pair of overalls to give her so i can try and replace her as closely as possible <laughs> are you gonna get the wedding outfits while you're closing the game to get the rustic pack yeah we might do as well we might we might um we might grab that as well um hold uh maya is her uh is her lip preset right i don't think it is is it has she come over with the wrong lip preset because i don't have it because i don't did did her lips look like that before did they i swear they look bigger in the photo maybe i'm just confused though do they look bigger i think they she's got quite a like a, a like a big upper lip and i don't think that's the same on the one that i've got <laughs> need the mushroom areas of my life they're so good yeah it's the wrong preset okay let me see if i can find a preset also any chance you could link me to the preset that you use because i do actually really want that but i'm gonna see if i can like replicate whatever preset was being used i think that one was the closest let me just try and match her up is that close is that close to what she looked like i think that was maybe a bit smaller on the upper lip Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I can't live without my presets. No, I'm exactly the same. Trust me, I couldn't do it either. There we go. What about that? Is that close? Maybe just uh, sort it out from the side so that she doesn't look like she's sticking her tongue between her lips. Love the juicy lips. We love. We love. There we go, actually. That looks fine from the side. Is that okay? Is that is she looking similar? Like the preset similar? You want Maya to link all of her CC? Yeah, if you could just link every single bit of her CC, that would be great. <laughs> she's so pretty, right? She is shocking. Like, to look at her, she is stunning. Disgusting. Disgustingly pretty. <laughs> she looks good. Okay, as long as you think that she looks, like, closely to what she did before, I'll go ahead and add the preset on her uh, once we reinstall all of her CC as well. Isn't she gorgeous? God, you guys are so talented. Like, I just, I can't. You guys are dead talented. Right, so she had something like that on, and then I'm also going to give her the overalls, which, um, luckily, our girl already wears. So I think this is pretty similar to the one that you put on her, so I think we might go for this. Um, I, did she, was, she, was it a blue colour? Laura Meyer is another sim god creator like Erin. Yeah, honestly, you guys, you're just impressing me. You're coming out here. <laughs> Uh, Ninja with the follow, I shall remain anonymous with the follow, Missing Watermelon with the follow, Frederick with the follow, and Asian Diva with the follow as well. Thank you guys so much for the follows, I really appreciate that. Mm. She looks like Harrison's sister. Wait. Hold on. What about if she is Harrison's sister? What about that? Huh? What do we think about that? What about if Eden actually is Harrison's sister? And then we can incorporate her into the story. Because right now he doesn't have any family, obviously, because he's just like a normal sim. Yeah, should we make her related? Maya, what do you think? Do you want her related? Oh, the eyes, the eyes, yes. <laughs> I want her in the story. I want to see her. I want to see her coming to meet Sylvie. Because they're going to obviously know each other since they're brother and sister. She could come and stay. She could come and stay the night and come and stay like in the world with us. Where will she come from? I feel like she won't live in Henford on Bagley, but she'll come and visit us. That's the way that I feel like it would be. Maybe she's from uh, Sulani because that was where that was where Harrison moved when he met Nailani. Um, but he wasn't from there originally, I don't think. She would be a cute auntie. Yeah, she would be a cute auntie. Yes, I fully support this idea. Okay, it looks like that's just gonna happen then, doesn't it? Looks like that's definitely gonna happen. Um, hold on. Love Jazz with the 10 bitties. Thank you so, so, so much. Could we please get some claps, love and hype in the chat for Jazz? Thank you so much. <laughs> I found the mushroom earrings that Maya linked and linked them again. Oh, thank you, Chloe. I have, a, I have already downloaded those ones in the background as well. So I've got those downloaded ready. 
Shall I link her CC after the stream? Yes, please, Maya. So I can um, at least make her look as similar to how you posted her as possible. Because uh, she is gorgeous. i got to do it justice. <laughs> Silver Wolf with the gifted subs. Thank you so, so, so much, Silver Wolf. Could we please get some claps, love, and hype in the chat for Silver Wolf? Thank you so, so, so much for the gifted subs. If you were just gifted a sub, Lily and Molly by Silver Wolf, do you want to go ahead and say thank you if you are around? We've also got Cookie with the four bits as well. Thank you so much for the biddies. Could we get some claps, love, and hype? And we've also got uh, Francisco with the follow as well. Thank you so much. Um, I th I might just give her some, yeah, I might just give her some of these. Might just give her some of these with the green to like match the top. I think they're still cute. <laughs> I started a Sims 4 video to start a YouTube channel. Do you have any advice for starting? Um, just be yourself. I feel like that is one of the biggest things. Don't try and like, you know, be somebody else or copy anybody else. Just sort of, um, be how you would normally with your friends in real life. And honestly, it comes across as really genuine online. So that's probably my recommendation for you. <laughs> she had a tattoo. Oh yeah, she actually, um, hold on. Let me just see what tattoos she had. She did have a tattoo in, in between her boobs, didn't she? Oh, and she has done down there as well. Is it a tattoo set? Is it like a whole set? I used the Francesca. Yeah, okay, I've got that one. <laughs> Been blessed with the follow. Of course, Maya. Of course. They're just too good. Not too. Too good. Lauren, maybe she lives in Bridgerton Base and she loves pets and becomes a vet. Oh my god, Tiffany. That is such a good idea. That's a really good idea. So is she supposed to love pets? I'll have to give her the other one to love pets. If you act differently, then um, then you are with people. We'll see that. Viewers uh, want honesty. Yeah, people just, you know, they just want to sit there and enjoy themselves. So you coming across as really genuine is like helpful, you know, to people enjoying you and your personality. I love that hair color. Oh, I know. And she does kind of look like Harrison's twin, right? Like if you imagined Harrison's sister, like that would be her. So <laughs> I feel like it definitely makes sense. Right, okay, so Eden, um, what's her last name? So her last name's currently Watson, but I might need to change it to Guy because Harrison's last name is Guy. As much as I love Watson as the last name, I, they need to have the same last name together. So I'm going to make her Eden Guy and then I'm going to add their relationship together as well. Yeah, the jawline. <laughs> she has a body preset from Miko and two separate tattoos from the same creator. So the body preset that she's got on right now, is that not correct? Does she, does she have... Does she have a slightly different body? Mm. Yeah, it doesn't look like she has a preset on right now. Let me see her in a... Yeah, there we go. Oh, she's been scalped. Okay, hold on. <laughs> um, right, okay. I'm probably going to need to download the body preset. But for the minute, I'll just give her an... I'll just give her one, you know? Miko's body preset. I'll need to download that. Let me just give her a little preset for a second. I feel like she kind of looks a bit similar to that from what I saw. So I'll leave her with that preset on. Um, and hopefully she looks kind of similar until I download the preset. It's okay though. Is she looking? Is she looking okay? Does she look kind of similar? I think she's looking like more similar to how she looked before. And then the tattoos. You're gonna give me some tattoos anyways. The tattoo set. But I um, I can give her some tattoos. I could give her those for the moment. Or is that too much? That's probably too much. Hold on. Let me check. <laughs> uh, these ones. Oh yeah, those ones are quite nice. Or are they too much as well? Mm, let me see. Those are quite cute, or is that too much? I sent you the CC after, please do. <laughs> please do, I'm like trying to wing it here. I feel like I need to do her justice, you know, especially since she's gonna be part of the main story too. Too much? Yeah, I'm trying to find this, like something similar to what she had before, but it's just like, that's definitely too much. Mm. What's this? Way too much. <laughs> Is there any of these with like less tattoos? I was thinking just like a few at the top. That's the way I got the impression. Are these all the same? I'm so confused. Why have I got the same tattoo? Um, right, you know what? I'll just wait for you to send me the tattoos. I think it'll be easier. <laughs> How long is this stream gonna be? We have no cap for today's stream. Um, so we'll go for as long as we need to. Obviously we do wanna get round to the wedding, but I did say today, if we don't manage to get the wedding done today, that we'll at least do the, We'll do the building, we'll get the renovation sorted and get the wedding planned. Whether we actually get round to doing the wedding today, I said if we don't, we'll do uh, we'll do another Rags to Riches stream tomorrow to do the wedding. Um, and if need be, we'll do uh, Whimsy next week because 
I want to be able to get around to doing the wedding this week because I did promise, like, literally at the start, like, Monday that I would do the wedding. <laughs> um, right, let me give her the trait where she's an animal lover as well. So I think the whole thing about her being a vet really, really applies well. So she is really cute. Honestly, Maya, I am so impressed. The sim is gorgeous. Like, she, look how cute she is. Look how cute she is. She looks so sweet. And yeah, are we making a child with the eggs? Yes, I still need to do that, don't I? I do need to do that. Right. Well, one thing's first. Let me just get Eden sorted out. I'm going to go get Eden um, moved in. So she's going to have the last name Guy too, because obviously that's her brother. Um, oh, have I um have I experienced dressing for a wedding? No, we have not done any uh we've not done any dressing for a wedding just yet. So you haven't missed out on anything. <laughs> I know you guys like to watch me dress for the wedding too. Hi Flaming, I'm back. Did you see my Sims? Yes, I did, and they are sickening, like sickeningly beautiful. It's kind of disgusting, but also gorgeous. <laughs> Um, let me move her into this little boathouse. I'm gonna move in with her a second so that I can set her up to know Harrison as well. Thank you, mean it uh, means a lot coming from you. Sylvia is so beautiful. What do you mean, Maya? Like, she is gorgeous. Oh my god, she is oh wait, who is Eden? Okay, Eden is one of Maya's Sims. Maya 568775, I think, in the chat. <laughs> with all the numbers at the end. Um, and this is their sim who is also going to be related to Harrison, our husband that we're getting married to in today's stream. So she kind of looks like Harrison's brother. So we, uh, it's Harrison's sister. So we thought it would be perfect. <gasps> Jazz with the five gifted subs. Thank you so, so, so much, Jazz. Could we please get some claps, love and hype in the chat for Jazz? Thank you so much for the five gifted subs, babes. We have gifted subs to Dynamic, to Lovely, to Brie Apps, to Latchley, and to uh, Nisi as well. If you was just gifted a sub, Bye, Jazz. Do you want to go ahead and say thank you? Thank you so much, Jazz. I really appreciate that. And we've also got uh, Nicol Nicolisa with the follow as well. Thank you so much for the follow. Right, okay. So I need to get her introduced to Harrison. Um, actually, I can just probably do it from here. So MC Command Center, relationships. I'm going to add a relationship with her and um, Harrison Guy. Oh, Neilani. Very awkward. No, that's his ex-wife. <laughs> Um, okay, so this is going by last name, right? Or is it going by first name? No, so his, his will be in the H, right? Let me just check it out. Um, oh, wait, they're just random? Oh, that's really useful then. Just gonna have to scroll through everybody in the world to find him. Harrison Guy. Harrison, wait, he's probably gonna be at the bottom. Scarlet, yeah, yeah, these are all the new Sims from the looks of it. Harrison, okay, Alonzo. We should be getting close. Kim. Let me know if I, if you guys see Harrison's name on here, because I'm probably going to lose it. And I'm an idiot. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I would love to see Eden and Harrison interact. I feel like they'd be really close and she doesn't like the ex-wife. Like, Eden would be sweet, bubbly and cooey over Teddy and the babies. And she'd snap and get sassy at the ex-wife and Harrison if he's acting dumb. I completely see it the same way. But I think it'll be really nice since we're setting up the wedding today for Harrison to actually have some family. So even if we just do planning for the wedding today, I still think that's really good because we want to make sure that the wedding is like top notch. So Harrison Guy, that is going to be your brother. Um, and then add relationship bits. Add a rebelf to each sim in the family. These are the relationships that show up on the sim profile panel. No, these are not used for gameplay effects necessarily. Okay, so she knows Harrison, but she hasn't met Sylvie yet, which makes sense because she hasn't come over to say hello to Sylvie. So it definitely makes sense that she wouldn't have met Sylvie yet. So that can be something that comes along later. Um, right, so we've got her. And then I need to go and make uh, Harrison's child as well. That's one thing that I need to go do. Let me go and spend worlds. Laurie got me wanting to get on The Sims right now. Yes, Mrs. Dredd, do it. Do it while we're streaming. You can watch both. <laughs> Ellen, do you have 90k lollies? Are you kidding? That is crazy. That is actually crazy. Hi, Ramin. How are you? Um, just really quick, I'm also going to turn this music off and put the country bump music on because it's much more of a vibe. Hey, much more of a vibe. first stream of yours of Kot. Hi. Your videos are incredible and you seem so sweet and hardworking. Oh, you're so sweet. Ag is, it, is, it Agne is it Agnes Esther? Agnes Esther? Thank you so, so, so much for the 100 bitties. And honestly, thank you so much for joining this stream and being so kind. Could we please get some claps, love, and hype in the chat for, I guess, 
Agus, Agus, Agus Esther. Am I saying it right? Let me know. I'm, uh, you'd know if you watch the streams, I butcher everybody's names. So <laughs> you probably heard me butcher somebody else's name. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren, can you start your dog legacy this stream? Yes, 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 I can. Absolutely, I can. I want the dog legacy to start today at the very least. Okay, here we go. We've got the country bumpkin music on. Are we ready? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, hold on. I've got an email to read in the background, guys. Give me one sec. Um. Oh, okay. I can go and read that later. It was just my, uh, just my university stuff clearing everything up. <laughs> Ag Agnes Esther, love. <laughs> For how I picture it. <laughs> I'm such a noob to sim making, it's not even funny. Scarlet, it only comes with practice. Practice makes perfect. I think she'd be really gentle. I gave her a nurturing trait, a custom one. I feel like she'd be a cool auntie. I think she would, Maya. I think she'd be really sweet. Hi, Lillian. How are you? How long are you streaming for today? Abby, we have no cap today. So we're just going to go until we feel like it. But I do want to go ahead and change the change the um change the title a little bit to planning the wedding because I don't know if we're gonna get around to actually doing the wedding in today's stream. But if need be, we'll do the wedding uh, in tomorrow's stream um, because I really want to get around to doing the wedding. So next up is gonna be Harrison's ex wife ex wife's child, but it's also his child. So Harrison's child with his ex wife. <laughs> um, let me just find his, where his ex wife lives. Hmm. Does she not live in Sulani? It's kind of weird to me that she doesn't live in Sulani. Unless she moved. Let me check her. What was her last name? Can't remember. Um, I need to give her a makeover too. She deserves a CC makeover since she's been so involved in our family. <laughs> he has an ex. He has an ex-wife. Before he moved to the country, he had an ex-wife. And him and his ex-wife also had a child. But he doesn't know about this child. Because she kept it a secret from him. So, really nice lady. Really. <laughs> oh my god, so happy things going on. Harrison has a sister. They're getting married, some puppies and makeovers. I know, Wisteria. So much happening today. Um, I can't remember what her last name is. Oh wait, actually, she got married, didn't she? You know what? Let me do it. Let me do it this way. I'm going to go into our family and then go through his relationship panel and do it that way. I'm thinking divorce my sim of Michael Bell and be with Harrison too. <laughs> Follow along the lineage, do it. <laughs> you made them divorce, you can't deny that. No, they chose to divorce, okay? He decided to move to Sulani and their marriage just broke out and it just didn't work. You know, he wasn't in love with her anymore and he decided he wanted a life in the countryside. And that's when he met Sylvie and they fell in love and then they had beautiful little babies. So that's where the story's going, okay? <laughs> Uh, Samantha with the tier one sub. Thank you so, so, so much, Samantha. Could we please get, what was she just doing? I don't even know. Could we please get some claps, love and hype in the chat for Samantha. Thank you so much for the tier one sub. We've also got uh, love with the follow and jinx with the follow as well. Thank you guys so much for the follows. So you made them divorce. No, 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 don't say it like that. I didn't make them divorce. They chose to divorce. The game chose to get them married in the first place. I was just doing what needed to be done, okay? Just what needed to be done. Um, right, so I'm going to go into Neilani. Now, the issue that I've got is I need Harrison to move in with Neilani. Okay, I'm going to have to do this a really messed up way, to be honest. So I'm going to have to uh, MC cheats her round, summon Sim. This is the only way that I'm going to be able to make a kid with their, both of their genetics together. So I'm going to need to bring her around and then add them both to the household together, make their child and then move Harrison back out again. Or move her into my household now. I actually, I don't know where she lives, so maybe not. Um, right, MC... Wait, no. How am I going to do this? Um, I'm just trying to work it out here. <laughs> Wait, Lauren, you can do this in MCC. Wait, how do I do that? How do I do that in MCC? Do I go in here? Neilani. Wait, are they friends? Yeah, they were friends. They actually left it off in a really good way, their marriage. But she's just been being really weird. She's been being, being really possessive. Is it going to be a boy or a girl? I was kind of getting the impression that it would be a, a little girl. Like, a, it'd be like a, a child. But I feel like they'd be at the end of their child phase. And I was kind of getting the idea that it would be a girl. MC pregnancy. Pregnancy start and choose sim. Oh, right. Okay. Watch. Oh, she's already... Oh, why? <laughs> and then... 
Where's Harrison on here? He's not an option. I can't do it. A girl, because we love a bad B word. Yeah. <laughs> right, Nailani. Let me just, uh, should I just end a marriage? Should I, uh, sorry, should I just uh, end a pregnancy? Sorry, honey, but you got to call it quits on that one. And then pregnancy start. Um, Wait, what does that say? Hold on, back. Pregnancy start use active. What does that mean? He's not He's not on there as availability. Like Harrison's like, no, 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 I don't want to keep with this lady. <laughs> She's a weirdo. <laughs> it's not an option. I'm going to have to do this the hard way. You can't do it because he is married. You killed a child. Oh, no. <laughs> Um, didn't I just save the game before I did that? I just saved the game. It's fine. I can make them a... No, she wasn't pregnant. No, no. And let me just uh, add her to my family a second. Wait, I'm not going to be able to do... <laughs> um, I've got an idea. Right, okay. MC Command Center, Neilani. Then MC Cheats, play this household. Yes. <laughs> Why is it so... I'll br I'll give her baby back. Was it a boy or a girl? I'll I'll get them pregnant again, and I'll I'll put her in a first trimester again. So that she was pregnant with a with Deontay, De De whatever his name was. Use active because Harrison. Oh, could I have done it? Harrison is your active child. Okay, never mind. <laughs> it's fine. Right. Well, she lives here with her children. Are these her kids? Oh, she's already got kids. Oh, okay. Pop off, queen. Pop off. Who, who are they with, though? Who are they with? Who's their dad? Who's their dad? Hugo? Is Hugo their dad? Wait, this is T. Oh, my God. So she's been pregnant with three different guys. She has been pregnant with three different guys' babies. And they're all, like, around the same age as each other. So she would have been pregnant with Harrison's babies. Then she's got uh, babies with Hugo. And then she's also currently, or she was pregnant a second ago, with uh, Deontay. Is she married to both of them? So, no, they're, ju they're just soulmates. Is she married to Deontay? No, they're just soulmates. Okay. She, she gets around. <laughs> she, gets a she gets around just a little bit. That's a, you know. And how old is she? She's a young adult and she's had uh, children with three different guys. You know, that's fine. You know, you do you, babes. You do you. That's... Mm -hmm. Okay, right. <laughs> Harrison. Oh, wait. Can I get her pregnant with Harrison's baby now? I wonder if I can. MC pregnancy. Start pregnancy. With Harrison guy. So I... What, okay, what do you guys think? Do you think... Neilani for around the block. Oh my gosh. No. <laughs> do you think that her and Harrison would have ended up having a boy or a girl? So that this child that is going to be Harrison's um, kid that he didn't know about, is it going to be a girl or a boy? I kind of got the impression that it was going to be a girl, which is why she was interested in like finding out her family and finding out who her dad was. Hmm. Okay, most of you guys are saying girl, so it seems like you guys are on the same wavelength as me. So we'll go for one little baby girl, and then I'm just going to go and set her in labour really quick, and then I'm just going to go and have her go and have the baby. Is there anywhere to have a baby around here? No? Okay, let me just buy you a bassinet then. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Miss girl, and you're, hang and you're angry that he divorced you? You probably had another man. I mean, maybe that... Uh, uh, to be honest... I felt like they didn't leave it on a bitter situation because if it, if it was a bitter situation, then um, there we go. If it was a bitter situation, it would have been a case where they didn't have any friendly. So you can see they clearly have no love with each other, but they do have friendship together. Although their friendship has been going down because she keeps turning up and being weird. But before they were really good friends with each other. So now I feel like it's just, he kind of fell out of love with her and just didn't want this life. Maybe she moved to Sulani, you know, and he didn't want to live there. And it, it just ended up breaking down the marriage and that was it. Oh, no, uh, wait, hold on. Nala is a cute name. Nala is a really nice name. Nala is really nice. You've got to bear in mind, it'll be something to do with like, I mean, her name is Neilani. So we want to kind of go with something similar with their uh, Polynesian backgrounds because it, she would be the one to name the baby. So are you going to age up the baby girl? Yeah, so she's, I want her to be a child. That's the way that I imagined her being. I feel like guys don't really care to find their dad most of the time. And if the dad isn't present, so yeah, go with a girl. I kind of, I mean, I, d I don't want to like stereotype or anything, but I've found that girls more have wanted to find out who their dad was 
um, than, than boys. Boys are like, well, if you didn't want to come find me or didn't want to meet me, then whatever. Um, but I can imagine Neilani probably lied about her dad. So when she was pregnant, she probably said, oh, you know, your dad left us while I was pregnant with you. Um, he wasn't interested in getting to know you. And that was why it's gotten to the point where she was a child. And now she wants to go meet her dad. Nala, yeah. Okay, I really like the name La Nala. I think it's really sweet. So we'll go for Nala. There we go. Let me see the baby. Perfect. Oh, and she didn't want it, apparently. Oh, would you just look at that? Didn't want the baby. From giving birth, this baby's born. It's a relief to not have to deal with a pregnancy anymore. Okay, honey. And then uh, age up as well. <laughs> what if Harrison's ex-wife tries to ruin the wedding? I am not having this lady ruin my wedding. Like, no way. No, that cannot happen. It just cannot. <laughs> Nala is my friend's name and she's a bad bee, but I love her very much though. <laughs> yeah. Queen of the uh, right, so here is little Nala. Let me see her. Okay, she just has a black eye. Just, just ignore that a second. Let me just see. Okay, get that out. Get that off. Right, here is what she's looking like. She looks so much like her mum. But again, skin tones haven't randomized correctly because she's even lighter than her dad. So it doesn't really make sense. So I'm going to go ahead and give her a dad skin tone, which is this one here. This is the one that her dad has. And then she's kind of, actually, I'm going to make her darker so she'll be like similar to her, like more similar to her mom, I think, like that. No ears. <gasps> what is this bug in my game? What is this? I must have some preset that's messing it up because all of my kids keep being born with zero ears. You know what? I think it's, oh, there is no presets in here. She's a mer, oh no, she's a mermaid. Oh no, what is this? Let me age her up to a child as well. She looks really cute though. So far, she looks really sweet. Let me see. Oh god, look at her ears! Oh no, look at her little ears! <laughs> Let me age her up. I'm gonna tweak her as a young adult and then I'm gonna age her back down. I can't keep up with the story. So this is Harrison's kid with another woman. Yes, so before he... Oh my goodness. <laughs> before he had... Um, Oh damn, she has his uh she has his jaw, doesn't she? Before he got with Sylvie, he was actually in a relationship with another lady and he divorced her, which is all part of the story. What is wrong with her ears? I don't even know. <laughs> and um yeah, so uh this is their child from when they were together. But she, but he didn't know about the child. He didn't know that the child existed because she never told him either. She should be a little older than her brother. Yeah, I was thinking that Oh wait, hold on. She should be a she should be a teenager then, shouldn't she? Would she be a teenager? Maybe. Why the ears? Why the ears? Why do they look like they're stuck to your head? Why are they like that? There we go. What about that? Oh, that's a bit better. That's a bit better. That's a bit nicer. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna have a look a little bit like her mum, a bit like that. That's okay. Cecilia with the tier one sub as well. Thank you so much, Cecilia. Could we please get some claps, love and hype in the chat for Cecilia. Thank you so much for the tier one sub. I hope you enjoy your emotes and your badge as well. <laughs> Them ears, lips and eyes, Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, right, okay. So let's go for some eyebrows. We'll go for some, okay. Go just put some eyebrows on and she just got a thick head of hair. Thick head of hair, okay, my queen. <laughs> I have that bug as well. I don't know what's causing it. Ugh, I don't know what this is. I think it must be a preset. I think that's what it is. So she ended up getting black hair. So she she honestly looks quite a bit like her mum, doesn't she? So we need to go with that. Don't you have preset ears for adults? You had that bug with Erin's mouse sims that was because of the preset. So maybe Harrison's ear presets are gone through the children. Yeah, that must be what it is. That's why they have no ears. Yeah, that is what it is. Might be a jaw preset. Is it? Would the jaw affect the ears? I'm not sure. Okay, so skin details for her. Um, let me just quickly have a look at Neilani because she's, pro she's probably going to look similar to her mum. So um, let me have a look at her mum a second. Her mum's really cute looking, honestly. Look how sweet she is. This one's... Oh, that one's... Why does she look so nice? Why does she look... This is not fair because she's not supposed to be nice. Like, why do you look so nice? Um, okay, what, what skin do we think? Do we think number one or number two? Number one or number two? Which one suits her the most? I'm telling you, she's pining, uh, she's pining this over Harrison's head, man. She's a seromantic and I feel like Leilani. Oh, she is! She is a seromantic. 
Mm -mm -mm. Number two, this one here. Yeah, okay. And then let me uh, let me just give her some like basic CC. We don't need to go crazy with her, but let me just you know give her some new eyebrows and a new hair and things. We'll give her some some eyebrows. There you go, honey. Give her a frown. I feel like she's too happy. You know, I need her to like not look as happy. Or maybe she comes across as really nice, but actually she is a B. You know, she is mm, not a nice piece of work, and she's actually not very nice. And that's why she's acting this way. She needs to suit my suit my storyline here. <laughs> you look too nice, honey. You don't look like you're gonna start playing around. <laughs> She's a siren mermaid. Ah, I see it. I see it. She's a siren. So she's like getting men to come to her. She's why she's been with so many. Oh, those ones are nice eyebrows. I like those. I think in the end, Neilani should be friends with Harrison and Sylvie again. Um, but that she just had a grudge in the beginning because Harrison left her. It would be nice if eventually they could be friends. But it's like, um, you know, I'm not going to force it. If it happens, it happens. Um, naturally. But so far, she was always nice to Sylvie. But then it was just a bit weird, to be honest. I kind of got the impression that it was a bit weird. And then we'll give her some black hair. Back again. Um, oh, that one's pretty. Yeah, I kind of see her having that one. She's a mermaid. Yeah, she is. <laughs> her happiness her happiness makes me hate her more, really. <laughs> I kind of got the impression that she was too nice for me to dislike her. I was like, look how cute she is, though. How could you dislike this girl? Like, come on, she's dead sweet. <laughs> you force them to be mean to each other, to be honest. Well, technically, it's just a bit weird her turning up. So I don't really mind forcing them to be mean to each other because why is she coming to my house in the first place? Like, that is just weird. Moana vibes? Yeah, she's giving me Moana vibes vibes as well. And then I'll give her some uh, some contour. There we go. She's actually looking really sweet without like adjusting any of her presets. I was thinking about changing her eyes though. Uh, sorry, her lips and giving her... Um, I'm going to make them look similar to what they look like before though. So I was thinking something like that. And then she... Yeah, she had like a little happy face. And then she had quite like f far away Cupid's bow. Like that. I kind of like that a bit more. Wish her hair was curlier. Her hair is like similar to what she had before though, isn't it? We gotta give her a little bottom lip. Perfect. Apparently Moana was actually dead. Like the whole movie was her path to heaven or something. Don't say that. You're just ruining it for me. Don't say that. <laughs> That's no. Links him with mermaid form. Right, come over to into her mermaid form. Oh, it's gonna... No? Okay. Unlink. And then copy. Is it going to go over? Hello? Hello? Copy sim to mermaid form. Okay. No? No? You should add a flower at the side of her hair. Let me see if I can find... Oh, I think I have got those flowers. There are... So I've got these ones. But those ones are just at the end. But I've actually got like big flowers. Hmm... Not those ones. That one's actually kind of cool too, though. That's cute. Um, Where are they? I've got this hair with, like, a bunch of flowers in it going all the way down. I don't hate her. I just think that she was bitter, just like Daisy said. And because she's a serial romantic, she wanted to end the relationship first. But beat Harrison. Um, but beat Harrison to it. I mean, would Harrison, Erin's sim, marry a mean person? She's a nice person, but she's, she's human. Well, she's not human. She's actually a mermaid, but yeah. <laughs> and she uh, can be bitter about a divorce. Yeah, I agree. She can She can be bitter about a divorce. That's kind of cute. No, I do I do definitely agree with that. She could definitely be bitter. Where is the flowers that I'm looking for? Where are... Am I being in stupid, guys? You know the hair that I'm looking for, right? With the flowers in it? Where's the flowers? Oh, there. There they are. There they are. Ah, uh, okay. Her hair's too big for this one. Mm, shame. Okay, never mind. That Moana was dead is a theory, but not proven. People think that Moana died in the thunderstorm in the beginning and that she has to uh, do her path to heaven, but I'm not so sure. That's honestly very sad, though. <laughs> That's really sad. <laughs> oh, my God. Right, so this is Nala. This is going to be their child together. Let me just uh, tweak her up a little bit. I'm going to give her the same presets as her mum, just so that she looks a bit more like her mum as well. I think I used this preset on her mum. 
Let me just make sure I match it up. Here we go. And then she had this. Did she have this preset? Maybe it was because she had a custom skin on. There we go. Especially sad because it's a, ch a child's movie. Yeah, if that is true, that's just really sad. <gasps> Sorry. Sorry. Okay, skin details. Skin details are coming out. Skin details are coming out. Look at this child. Look at this child. Look at her. <laughs> she just went from like, eh, she's okay, to like, what just happened? She's pretty. Yeah, she's really pretty. <laughs> she's really, really pretty. Um, should I go with hair up? Mm, she's going to be a teenager, isn't she, as well? Nala would be cute if she had ginger hair. Well, I feel like because her mum had black hair, she would also end up with black hair too. Because it probably ended up... Uh, like uh, Black hair is like the dom dominant gene, right? So she would have ended up with black hair from her mum. Um, oh, that one's really pretty. I do like that one. Or the one with the little braids at the front. Her dad has straight hair, so it could make sense that she ends up with her dad's hair colour. Sorry, her mum's hair colour, but her dad's hair texture could make sense. Yeah, black hair's more dominant than ginger. Uh, we have Coco with the follow, Cecilia with the follow, and Vetti G with the follow as well. Thank you guys so much for the follows. <laughs> Love that hairstyle on her. I think we're going to go with this one. She kind of looks like Kim Kardashian. Wait, maybe. <laughs> maybe. I see Nala being a, a great big sister to Winnie. Honestly, I don't see Nala being bitter, but I do see her when she meets her dad being like quite upset with her dad, thinking that her dad left her because right now I feel like she's been told what her mum's told her. Because you've got to bear in mind, Harrison doesn't know that his daughter exists right now. And then he finds out that his ex-wife had actually had a daughter and hadn't told him. So I'm sure he's going to be a little bit mad about that, but eventually it will work out, I think. But it's just going to be more of a case of, you know, she, uh, she is probably going to hold it against her dad for a little while that her dad never um, knew about her or never tried to find her. Nala actually looks stunning. Oh, I really like her. Really, really like her. And then for her outfit, um, they currently live in the city. So if we could make it match, that would be good. I think she should have her dad's eyes. Well, then again, with her dad's eyes, um, she would have had dark eyes because dark eyes are also dominant as well. So it's like my dad has blonde. Uh, sorry, my dad has blonde. No, my dad is like lighter hair, like lighter brown hair. And he also has bluey gray eyes. And then my mom has really dark eyes. So obviously I ended up with dark eyes. And most of the time, if you are having a child with one person that has light eyes and the other person has dark eyes, most of the time the child's going to end up with dark eyes. I think she looks more like Courtney. Yeah, she does. She does look a bit like Courtney Kardashian. <laughs> uh, Keely with the hydrate as well. Thank you so much. Lauren, you should read what Blue and Ari said. That's such an interesting theory. Blue and Ari, could you resend, please? So I can see. Oh, that's a cute little dress, actually. <laughs> Not me getting distracted over these cute little dresses. <gasps> That's a really nice dress. That might be a potential option as a wedding dress. Okay, I need to not stop putting wedding dresses on random people. I feel like her mother would play the victim. Yeah, I kind of see that too. She'd be like, well, you know, she didn't want to be lonely. Didn't want you just go and live with your dad and leave me. <laughs> but since her hair is dark, the eyes would pop. That is true. Let, let me let me try her with the dark eyes and let me try her with the green eyes and then we'll decide which one we prefer. Um, okay, this one's quite nice. I quite like that. She did used to live in Sulani, so it kind of makes sense, like a summery style. I think that's quite nice. My brother-in-law is blue, blonde eyes, and my sister is dark brown and blue eyes, and my niece has a has a blonde, blue eyed. Oh, really? So that's like uh getting the reset like a uh, getting um the least likely jeans i guess because there's still a chance that you will end up getting green eyes or whatever it is um or blue eyes but it's just a lot higher chance that you'd end up with brown eyes or black hair or something so if we give her the original eye color that she's got now she's got a really dark brown so i'll give her the same eyes as her dad but let me just see how she looks with the really dark brown eyes so with the really dark brown looks something more like this 
And then with the same color as her dad, her dad has, I think these ones. No. What color, what color eye, oh, what color eyes did her dad have? It's one of these ones. I think it's, no, it's these ones. Her dad had these, I think. Or did he have green? Oh, <gasps> what color eyes did her dad have? I think they were these. I think they were these. Right? Green? No, no, no. Her mama had her mom has hazel eyes, and then their dad has like bluey green. I think it's this one. I think it's that color. Is it that color? My boyfriend and I have brown hair and brown green eyes, and both my kids are blonde with blue eyes. <laughs> brown eyes look so sultry on her. I love it. That's what I was thinking with the blue eyes, but. She does look gorgeous with, with light eyes. Personally, I love light eyes, so I'm not sure. Hi, Kaya. How are you? Are you making the daughter? Yeah, this is Harrison and Neilani's daughter. Love the dark brown. Okay, we can leave it with the dark brown. She can have her mum's eyes. Let me give her the dark brown on again. There we go. Let me give her the dark brown. She looks stunning in both. Yeah, I think so too. Let me just make sure I age her down. I am going to go ahead and randomize her traits though. She, she'll just turn out however she turns out. Um, so let's go ahead and give her a little randomize. Also, I'm going to give her a body preset as well. Um, just because they normally don't get a body preset. So I'll give her... Um, oh god, no. That's, why is that making her so much taller as well? Let me make her an adult. I think her dad's eyes are better. She should have had more of her dad in her. I kind of like the fact that she's got her dad's facial features, but also a lot of her mum in her. I kind of like that. And honestly, mm, well, I say that I, I say that most girls take after their mums. It's not true because when I was younger, I took a lot after my mum, and then gradually as I've gotten older, I've taken more and more after my dad. So it does. It goes to show. It goes to show. Let's give her that body preset, and then let me get her as a teen. Here we go. And then, okay, let's meet up her legs a little. There you go, honey. Get you a little bit of meat. There you go, great. <laughs> She's so pretty, yeah. But wait, why does she look so adorable? I mean, her mum's gorgeous and so is her dad. So, you know, it kind of makes sense. <laughs> and then we'll give her these. I'm not sure if I should give her some little converses to wear with it. She is like a teenager living in the city. So I feel like she would also want to wear something that's comfortable. Um, What have we got? The white ones are fine, I guess. Let me try and match something up to this. I looked exactly like my dad when I was born, and now I'm my mum's twin. Really? So you swapped? When I was younger, I was literally my mum's twin, and then I changed to look more like my dad as I've gotten older. Which, you know, I'd rather look like my mum, but it's okay. <laughs> I guess, um, yeah, I'd rather I'd rather look like my mum because my mum is like stunning, especially you know as a girl wanting to look like another girl. <laughs> I'm a female version of my dad. <laughs> my dad has like a quite a wide jaw and I feel like that's like my mom's face is like like round but small. Um now my dad's head is like very big, but he also has a wide jaw as well. So I've ended up with like a wider head than my mom, but also round, but now with a wide jaw. So even when I lose weight and I'm like I'm low body fat and I don't hold a lot of weight on my face, I have a wide jaw always. Like it'll just be there forever, you know. <laughs> I don't know who I look like as I've never seen a picture of my mom. Oh, Tiffany. I, I mean, have you compared yourself to your dad? If I mean, you could say like, um, if you don't look like your dad, then you would assume that you'd look more like your mom. I'm a perfect mix. People say I look like either parent, depending on which parent I'm, I'm with. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to think of what, what dress to give her. This one's kind of cute. This is kind of sweet. I mean, it's very, uh, very child friendly. I love this. What color have we got? We've got a pink, a yellow. I think the yellow is really nice. Actually, I might give her this. I actually kind of like that. I'm gonna give her some slightly wider shoulders. There we go. I kind of like this on her. I think it's sweet. There we go. Okay, so here is Nala, guys. This is Harrison's child that he doesn't know about, that he will know about <laughs> in a little while when she turns up. Let me go and randomize uh, the traits. So she's been given the Stargazer trait and the Shy trait. Do you guys get a good impression from that or should I randomize again? 
I definitely look like my dad when you look at pictures of him at my age. We could literally be twins. <laughs> Does her neck seem uh, long? I think it's because her hair, honestly. I think it might be because of her hair. To me, at least. Randomize again. Let me try. I don't think she would be shy. Yeah, I don't really get that either. Um, angler and socially anxious. Wow, it really wants her to be shy, doesn't it? <laughs> really wants her to be shy. <laughs> Hi, Lily. How are you? Hates paparazzi and is a techie. No, can we, can we get some decent traits here? Tinkerer and yoga lover. Okay, I'll leave the yoga lover on there. I can see that. But I do see her being... Um, I see her being cheerful. That's the way I see her. I see her being really nice and cute. And then for her... Uh, for her aspiration, we'll go for family. That might be the reason that she wants to find out about her dad. And then we'll have her want to have a successful lineage, I think. She is a mermaid, yeah. Her mum was a mermaid, so she ended up as a mermaid as well. Right, there we go. They are looking great. Perfect. Maybe she doesn't look it, but is shy. You mean she, like, she doesn't come across as shy, but she is. I'm not having the best week, but your streams cheer me up. Oh, Lily, you sweetie. I'm glad I could do that for you as well. That's really sweet. <laughs> Okay, so we've got Nala living here. Um, their relationship is fine. Then I'm going to go back onto Nailani uh, and then go back to Harrison and play. Um, right, cheats. Play this household. Yes. I'm making a sim right now and I'm thinking about giving her a child, like toddler wise. Oh, God, Juliana, you're already thinking about children? <gasps> oh, my. <laughs> They say I look like my mum, and then they say, and then they uh, see my dad, and then they say I look exactly like my dad, so perfect mix. But I do know my character is just that from my dad. See, I'm like a weird character between my mum and my dad. Um, so like my my mum is like very passionate, very fiery, um, very uh, loving, very creative, and my dad is very chilled very calm very logical collective all of those and i feel like i was a weird balance between the two so i can be really like calm and collected at sometimes but then sometimes i am fiery and i will lose it but then also i'm i i'm normally fiery because of the like because i'm loving i think and because like you know like somebody hurt me or something and i feel that in a strong way <laughs> i think that's the way that i feel about it at least Flaming with the redeem name and animal. Thank you so much. I gotta go, but I really want to redeem this now. Could you name Harvey and Arian's firstborn flaming after me? Bye bye, everyone. Have a great stream. Everyone stay safe. No worries, Flaming. Thank you so much for the redeem. Did you want to be a girl puppy or a boy puppy? So, do you want to go flaming boy or flaming girl? Which one? Hey, sorry I'm late. I've just got back from London. I'm knackered. Hi, Sidepo. How are you? How was London? But it was nice. Um, right, okay, so now I finished doing all of this, I need to go ahead and make the relationship that he has with his daughter, like, none. So, set active relationship, they would just be acquaintances. Like, he would hardly have even met his daughter, from what I imagine. Actually, I kind of imagine him having a negative relationship with his daughter, not out of anything that he's done, but because his daughter doesn't like him because of the stuff that she's been told from her mum. So I kind of imagine that they have a bit of a negative relationship because, honestly, um, Nala has a bad impression of Harrison. You know, like, neilani has gone and said, you know, your dad... Um, never wanted to get to know you. He just left us while I was pregnant with you. Um, you know, he didn't care about you and he's never come back and asked about you. Whereas that is true, but he never knew about her in the first place. So I feel like that's why she feels like she has a bad. I feel like the the wife was a bit of a spiteful character like that and trying to make her jealous. She was just a bit bitter about the thing. Neilani is hot. Yeah, she is. <laughs> Okay, so we need to go and get the venue sorted for the wedding. Um, actually, how much money have we got? Okay, money's rough. So we are going to have to save up a bit of money to be able to plan the wedding. But for the minute, we need to get the venue sorted. So let's go. Lauren doing Harrison Dirty. What did I do Harrison Dirty for? <laughs> Can I see Winnie and Coda? I haven't seen them yet. Yeah, when we go back into the game, I'll show you them. We have to make Neilani pregnant again. With Oh, yeah, I forgot to do that. Yeah, I have to do that. Weddings are expensive. Yeah, they're like a thousand Somalians in game. Um, right. So we want to look up like some sort of... Oh, here we go. Just looking at these gorgeous sims. I want to look up some sort of converted barn. So if I look up like wedding barn, I don't know what's going to come up, but I hope something good will come up. Let me look on something like most popular. 
I kind of imagine the way that the way that I imagine Sylvie and Harrison's wedding is like this renovated rustic barn. Really, really pretty. Yeah, something like one of these. <laughs> pretty much what I've just seen. Kind of see this one. That one is really gorgeous as well. Oh my god, look at all of these. Oh, they look so good. I'm so excited to give it like a full renovation as well. Let me just make sure I've got move objects turned on. You sold Lime and you killed her baby. This LP is secretly evil. Okay, it wasn't on purpose, right? <laughs> uh, we have some follows. I completely missed loads of follows earlier. Sorry, guys. We have uh, El, El Diablo with the follow. Kimp with the follow. Uh, Heloise with the follow. Ella with the follow. Lenis with the follow. And Midnight Light as well. Thank you so much for your follows, guys. Hi, Midnight. Welcome to the stream. I'm a fan of you. You're such a sweetie. Welcome to the stream. I hope you enjoy Crazy because weddings are expensive IRL. Just put my venue and it's going to be like 4,500. Oh my God. Not excited to go, not excited to put my wedding. No way. <laughs> okay, guys, which one do you like the most? So we'll go with like in rows. We'll go one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll do, uh, we'll do 1A, 2A, 3A, 4A, 5A, 1B, 2B, 3B, 4B, 5B, 1C, 2C, 3C, 4C, 5C. So if you guys see one, call it out. So this this row is A, this row is B, this row is C. If you like one on here, let me know. Call it out. Is it 1A, 1, 1B, 1C? A poll would help. Well, I want you guys to like select your favorites and then I'll do, run a poll between like two or three of them. Asian Diva with the 50 bits as well. Thank you so much. Could we get some claps, love and hype in the chat? So you like um, A... Um, right, okay, so we've got 5C. So uh, 5C is this one here. Okay. Wait, is that 5C? Uh, a, B, C. Yeah, okay, 5C. Um, okay, I'm seeing a lot of... Uh, I'm seeing a lot of A4s. One, two, three, four. Okay, um, so you guys like this one as well? Wow, A4s, quite a lot. Quite a lot. I think we'll do a poll between two. Okay, A4 is one of my favorite, so we'll definitely get A4 added to the poll. So mods, could you make a note of A4 for me? Because I think definitely A4 is going to be one of our options. And then what should we do for the others? Uh, actually, B5. B5. This one here. Mm, I do like... Oh, actually, I do like the inside. I do definitely like the inside. It's a bit big from the outside, though. It's a bit strange looking, I think. <laughs> A4 is amazing. Yeah, I think A4 is one of my favorites, but I want to give everything a chance. 3B is so beautiful. This one here. Let's have a look at this one. So this one's like an outdoor setting. That one's really cute. Uh, this one's uh, really cute, sorry. <laughs> I read somebody that said confused in chat and I blended the words together. A2, A4 or B3? A2. Oh, A2 is really pretty. Oh, look at that as well. It's got like a little pagoda thing, like a little gazebo out there. That's really cute inside. Maybe not what I was imagining though, not as like rustic inside. So maybe not that one. Um, A4 we've got and B3. B3 was this one here as well. Yeah, I did really like that one. Okay, maybe we get B3 added as an option as well. We'll make B3 our second option mods. So we've got A4, B3 as our options. And then has anybody put any others? Is any, what about any of these ones? That one's quite sweet too. C5 looks nice. This one here. C2. Bohemian. This one's a bohemian style. Uh, it is nice, but not. I don't think bohemian really suits Sylvie, the way that I get the impression. Um, oops, already did the poll with the two options. That's okay. I like the two options anyways. Okay, guys, go ahead and vote on the poll. If you don't see the poll, go ahead and refresh the stream, and then you'll see it at the top of the chat. Give me one second. I need to go and uh, pee, and then I'll be right back. So, uh, yeah, I will be right back and I'll see you guys in a sec, okay? Make sure you vote on the poll. <laughs>
Hello, I'm back. Okay, so it looks like A41. I can agree. <laughs> Lauren, can we see C2? This one here. Oh, that one is really cute as well. I mean, I think we've got our winner. I definitely like the one that we've got now, but this one is really sweet. This one is very cute as well, though. But I think this one is definitely the vibe we were going for. I think that's it. <laughs> Clearly, we have a winner. Clearly. <laughs> right. So A4 is winning at 81% with 81 votes. Damn. Okay. Nice. So we need a 40 by 30 lot to put this on. Um, hmm. 40 by 30 lot. Is there one here? 40 by 30. Huh. I did kind of want it in here. That one's 50 by 40. Mm. Right, okay, so I don't think we're gonna be able to, wait, 40 by 30. But is that the wrong way round? Let me have a look at this one, hold on. Marshall with the gifted sub. Thank you so, so, so much, Marshall. Could we please get some claps, love and hype in the chat for Marshall? Thank you so, so, so much for the gifted sub to uh, Calm Lee Sims. And if you watch this gifted sub, do you wanna go ahead and say thank you as well? Um, I'm just going to go take a look at this venue and just check if I could actually put something down here. Wrong way round, I think. Yeah. There might be one in Brindleton Bay. Yeah, we might need to go. But I really did want to kind of get married in the new world. Like, it would be nice if I could find a venue that would work in here. Let me try placing down the venue here and see if it works. But I don't think we're the right way round here. Or are we? I'm not sure. Hold on. Let me check. Um, okay, popular now. Most popular. So is this one here? It might work. It might work. Let's let's have a look. I made a whole friend group because of you. I chat with Tiffany, Katrinka, Maya, and Chloe every day, and it's so much fun. We never would have met without you, so remember that you do good things in the world. Oh, Daisy, you make me blush. Stop. You're so sweet. <laughs> um, right, so the venue is the wrong way round, but I think it could still work if I turn it round. Give me a sec. I think if I turn it round, like that could it work still or is it just what do we think could this work if i bring the path round like that could it work and then i'll just keep my camera like this side and then i can have it in the world i feel like it definitely could work still it's good enough yeah i don't think it's that bad and it's kind of like in the middle of nowhere which is quite sweet yeah i feel like it does it does suit doesn't it it suits this area yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yes, it is. Like, I could have never have made something like this, so I'm glad we found something. <laughs> you are my idol, and uh, every time I watch you, you are so nice and calming. I love you so much. Oh, Midnight is so cute. Thank you so much. That's really sweet. Let me get rid of the path here, because it wouldn't, like, just shut off like that. And then um, we're using... What what one is this? This, this here? Yeah, and then we'll just bring it round like that. Perfect. Bring it round, and it will connect over here. Okay, let me bring it round like that. Perfect. Okay, I think that's nice. Let me just colour that in. What do we think, yeah? Are we liking this as the venue? Oh my god, so cute, yeah. Hi, Ellie, kids finally in bed. Hope I haven't missed too much. No. When was the last time that you left so I can catch you up? Um, okay, this is looking very cute. Are you ready to take it, have a look inside? <laughs> I'm excited. So this is the upstairs bit. Oh my god, what a dream! Oh my god, look at this. This is exactly what I imagined for them. Like with the rustic thing that I was talking about. And there is like loads of... Oh, see, can I get rid of these? I actually don't want them here because I want to get my own food. Like make all my own food. I think that would be nice to like come like prepared with all my own food i would like to say this hold on wait, wait wait i would like to say this um i would like to say that i before i found your channel on youtube and stuff i was rotting my bed and you have inspired me to be enthusiast enthusiastic and get up in the morning and play sims oh bumble i'm glad i can inspire you to play sims <laughs> this is making me want to get married <laughs> i'm not sure i like the arch though there is an arch that came with cottage living um let me just double check it i'm gonna see if that one would suit better is living oh see that one is so cute actually i might get rid of that one and replace it with the one that was supposed to like that comes in the game because i felt like it was like made out of wicker you know so it really suits and what colors does it come in <gasps> look how cute it is oh it comes in so many nice colors as well mm. oh my god it looks so cute that one's really sweet that one maybe 
That one's really nice. Yeah, I think that one's like the best. It really suits the look we're going for. I might have to bring it forward a little bit so they're not like stuck there when they do it. Yeah. Yeah, it's looking amazing. I think it's going to make for an amazing wedding. There's a oh, look at this. See, okay, what creator made this? Because this is perfect. I love it when they go to town with all of this stuff and they include all of this, these bits. I really, really like that. And look out here. There's a toilet and everything. Yes. Somewhere to come and sit and eat out here. And then there's the bar. Is there somewhere to play music? Is there a stereo? That would be the last thing we need. Oh, look at the wedding cake outside. Sorry. Look at that. That's incredible. That looks so good. This could even be used for a baby shower. Yeah, it's so like multiversal. Is that the thing that I'm looking for? Multiversal? Um, right, so out here, I think this is where the dancing's gonna go down. If there is any dancing going down, it'll probably be going down over here. So I'll give, I'll put some music out here. We're gonna need wedding music on again. Do you remember in the, uh, wait, was it, was it, uh, the Whimsy Challenge when I had wedding music and we were all just sitting there crying? <laughs> yeah, I remember that. <laughs> there we go. Let me just put that there and then we can have some people come and dance. And then I also might get rid of this section here, um, and add in like uh, a dance floor so that they can actually dance and things there we go let me just squeeze that in now my boyfriend lives in the country and we want a country wedding that's small and this lot is just beautiful like we wish we could get married now i have said to ben i would love 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 a rustic wedding but i want a rustic beach wedding so i kind of want it to be like this but on the beach because i love the beach it's probably one of my favorite places to be um i love the sand i love the heat and I want to get married abroad, I think. So that's my that's my goals. Um, I am gonna buy a one. I'm gonna buy a one of these. Okay, good English. Um, I'm gonna buy this so that when Teddy's here, he can play on the monkey bars, so he doesn't get bored at all while he's at his mum's wedding. So I'll just pop that around the back just here, so he can actually, you know, play, and he's not just stuck there doing nothing. There we go. I'll buy him that. That sounds nice. Yeah, it's kind of like a combination, I think. That's the way I feel like I want my wedding. We moderators can come to your wedding, right? Yes. And if I can, I'll like live stream it so that everybody can watch it, you know? <laughs> At least everybody can feel like they're there. <laughs> you guys are saying she's a, a pretty bee, but if somebody did this in real life, it would be toxic behavior, lying and manipulation. True. You wouldn't want to be friends with them ever. I mean, Leilani, by the way. That is true, Philippa. That's very true. You would not want to be friends with somebody like that. Us mods feel special. Hi, hindsight. How are you? Mm. I'm just trying to find the dance floor, by the way, guys. That's why I keep going backwards and forwards and not finding anything. Um, I think I'm going to use this dance floor for outside. I think that one would work. I might need it in a different color, though. Um, Should we leave it in the light wood or should I go for the dark wood? What do you guys think? The light wood or the dark wood? Light wood, maybe? The light wood kind of matches the white here. What I missed so far? Have you just joined, Jazzy? How, how long have you been away for? We're invited to the wedding, right? Everyone's invited to the wedding. <laughs> Want a guest from the US? Yeah, Sheila. <laughs> Match the tables uh, with the color. Oh, wait, hold on. So I put this in the dark. I think it'd be like that uh i kind of like the light personally is it just me who likes the light oh actually that one that one suits that one works or does it that one maybe yeah actually that one suits the most dark okay most of you guys are saying dark we'll go for that one then i think that suits there suits the vibe we're going for we've got the music in here as well and then we've got where you can come and oh, see look at this it's the little details for me look how sweet that is come on that's so that's so cute <gasps> on the back of the chairs oh, i'm gonna cry <laughs> remember amelia is a flower girl for your wedding yes i need my little flower girl there <laughs> okay so we need to go and install some mods before we actually set up for the wedding so i need the rustic cc pack that you guys were talking about and i also want to install the sit at weddings mod because i want to make sure that people actually sit at my wedding that would be great um, and I'm also going to come here, like, apart from this and just get rid of all the food because I want to make it so that Sylvie hand makes all the food here. I think that'll be really sweet for her to do for her wedding, you know, come and, like, bring a bunch of food that she's made. So we'll do that. 
I got married in an old prison, made the decorations rustic and lots of plants. Oh, see, that's honestly so unique, though. That's really unique. Are you going to have bridesmaids? And if yes, what theme do you think the bridesmaids will have? I'm definitely going to have bridesmaids, but I don't know what theme. Like, girls not even engaged yet, so we can't even think about that yet. <laughs> I've got to think about the ring before then. <laughs> Winnie is the flower girl. Oh my god, Winnie's gonna make the cutest little flower girl. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh shoot, I actually have some CC I can link to you. Link it to me in the Discord right now. If you guys have got any wedding CC or rustic wedding CC, link it to me. Um, just get it ready for when I come off in a second. And I think we are good. Right, so we'll call it a day with the wedding barn. Let me just um, make sure that I turn it into... Would it be a generic law? It probably would, wouldn't it? Probably would be a generic lot. We don't want people just randomly turning up here. And then for this, I'm going to go ahead and add on the... It's going to be a wedding lot if that's an option. So it'll be a wedding venue. Perfect. And then it'll also probably have a sunny aspect as well. Um, and then the last one that we put on it is the one where you have like good parties there. Where's the good parties one? Party place. Yeah. I will cry 100% in your wedding. Be prepared with a lot of tissues. <laughs> it looks gorgeous. Yeah, you guys like it. Maybe Harrison invites his ex-wife because they're technically still friends and she brings the daughters to such drama. No. Oh my God. What is this? I'm just going to check if... um Because I don't think this lot was made when uh, Cottage Living was out. So I'm just going to have a quick look and see if any of the Cottage Living... Um, any of the cottage living stuff would look better in here. So, like, there's quite a lot of stuff that we could use here. So, like, that would look really pretty back there as well. Then we've got this little thing, which we can find a place for. Like, there, for example. Very cute. Stick that there. We got it in, like, a white option. Oh, we do. We got it into different colours, too. That one's really cute. Let's just go for the white. I think, like, white's very suiting. Where are, you, where are your go-to custom CC websites? Or what are your custom? Uh, so it's the Sims resource, uh, the Sim domination, and my Tumblr page as well. <laughs> uh, Shy Sugar with the follow and Frankie? Frankissel? Francis? Franciscals with the follow. <laughs> I probably better it, but I tried my hardest and that's all that counts. <laughs> um, oh, this is cute. Can I put this up somewhere? Oh, that's so cute. Let me just add it in now. Yeah, what colours we got? We got a little white one as well. Maybe I should add it in different colours over the sides. There we go. Let's do that. Let's add it like that. Perfect. What else have we got to put in here? Oh, yeah, we have the little wisteria. <gasps> yeah, we could use that in some places as well. Here we go. Put that there. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. And then can we have it running up? Cute. Just along there as well. There we go. That's cute. I like that. <laughs> Butchering again. Okay, I'm trying my hardest, okay? Even if I butcher, I'm trying my hardest and that's all I can do, right? It's better than not trying at all, am I right? Please, guys, tell me I'm right. <laughs> Hi, uh, Lou Caesar, I think. Oh, God. The vampire's wife with the follow. See? Didn't butcher that one, did I? <laughs> Lauren, you should let the creator know so that they uh, can watch the wedding. Oh, you mean the creator of the creator of the venue? Honestly, the venue is like beautiful. There is not a better venue that uh, that we could have chosen here. Oh, see, this one would have been cute. Our oh, thankful, grateful, blessed. Wait, is that in the game already? Is that custom? I'm confused. What is that? What is that picture? That is so cute. Maybe put that there. What options have we got? Oh, that's so cute. Look at these little options. Mm. I'm trying to think. That one looks fine. Like a little tea party in there. Sorry, I'm late. I took my sister to prom. Oh, how did how did uh, how did she look for a prom? I'm sure she looked beautiful. What did I miss? We're just in the middle of setting up the wedding venue. And just a little something something. Uh, world. Oh, oh sorry, Walden. Well hey, I am completely new here. Currently <laughs> catching up with the series on YT. Oh, I hope you enjoy That's it. The first of your series I've watched and I love it. <laughs> I see upcoming binge watching of the rest of your series. Yes, do Keep it. Great work, you're lovely. Thank you so much, Walden. Well Honestly, that is really, really sweet of you. 
and also welcome to the stream as well i'm glad you're enjoying my videos could we please get some claps love and hype in the chat for weldon and also thank you for the follow thank you to beth for the follow thank you to losis for the follow and thank you to horolby with the follow as well thank you guys so much for your follows i really appreciate that <laughs> And then, um, oh, so we do have a bar out here. This bar's not very big, though, is it? It's a bit of a lame bar. Hmm, never mind. Oh, my God, this is off topic, but I just read something on the news that there's an anti-vax nurse who gave somebody 6, 8,600 people saline shots instead of COVID vaccine. No way. Oh, God, that is going to be some sort of a scandal going on. I can already see it. <laughs> um oh yeah we should add some little pictures in there like that very cute and rustic okay right i think i'm done with decorating the venue there wasn't i didn't really do anything let's be honest lauren's decorating the venue no be calm lauren you didn't do anything <laughs> these are oh this is cute though no that's too big never mind mm, this there yeah okay that's cute right i think i'm done what do you guys think i've not really done anything <laughs> I've been here since Get Famous. Love to see how much appreciation and love you've gotten. Oh, Neve, that is so sweet. Thank you so much. <laughs> she looked beautiful. Oh, was it nice, Ghost Boy, to see her all? Uh, right, I think it's done. I think we're good. What's this? This could. Oh, wait, that's a fountain. Never mind. What's this? Oh, there's so much cute stuff that I'm just finding. Maybe this could be the little bulletin board outside. You know, when you go to like wedding venues and it's like. You know, like, what's going on. Maybe that could be there. You know, like, whether the venue's available to rent and things. So we'll just pop that there. And we might put it in a nice little... Um, is that one the best? I don't even know. That one, maybe? Yeah, maybe that. Lauren, I linked a Google Doc in the Discord for Eden's main CC. Making another one for our outfits if you're interested. But the most important thing is that the Google Doc included my the lips and body spray set. Thank you so, so, so much, Maya. I really appreciate that. <laughs> uh, people need to start paying attention. Like, seriously. Wait, what's that, Mrs. Dredge? I'm paying attention to what? Um, right, I think we've got everything. Let's back out now. And let's go and download. Oh my god, I'm just like abusing everything in my setup. We need to go and download the some CC, and then we'll do a little bit to it. Purple for the ladies and tan suits for the guys. <gasps> that sounds like such a cute little, cute little uh, vibe for them as well. That's so cute. Hi, Miss Candy. I'm a big fan of you, and you're the best Sims for YouTuber and streamer. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. Can we please get some claps, love, and hype in the chat for Miss Candy as well? Um, 46,000 at uh, 46.2k subscribers now and 100 more subs on one day. I know, Daisy, honestly, it, it's just popping off and I don't even know what to say about it. Every time I check YouTube, I'm like, what the hell? Our sub goal, like our, our sub uh, number is going up so much. Our goal, 450k, I feel like is going to come true. Do you guys think that we'll hit 50k by the end of this year? Do you think we can do it? At the rate we're going now, we could hit 50k in two months i think if if we work it out like with numbers we could because we're gaining 2.5k in fact i can give you the exact number that we've gained i think we could we definitely could we can do it i believe oh you guys are cute <laughs> so yeah august has gone mad okay so th in the last 28 days we gained 2.5k subs if we kept up this sub if we keep up this sub growth for the next coming months um, we will gain, uh, we will get to 50k in two months, which is insane. <laughs> I'm new on Twitch, but I've been watching your YouTube for seven years. Oh my God, Shy Sugar, that's so sweet. I love you and your content is amazing. That is insane. Watching me for that long, that is, that is just absolutely insane. Thank you so much. Could we please get some love in the chat for Shy? Welcome to the Twitch as well. Hope you enjoy the streams. <laughs> Right, let me uh, let me swap to this one a second whilst I download some of that CC. In fact, let me put it on desktop so you guys can actually see what I'm doing too, so that you guys aren't left out. <laughs> so, um, I need to go in general. Did you guys link in general or did you guys link in Sims mods? Probably Sims mods chat, I imagine. Here we go. Rustic romance stuff. Yeah, this was the stuff I was thinking of. Here we go. Let me see. Oh my god, look how... Yes, this is perfect perfect exact oh look at these little chairs exactly what i imagined exactly that i'm just gonna download the whole thing actually do i want all the clothes i don't know if i want all the clothes uh I might as well just download the whole thing otherwise it's gonna take too long there we go download the rustic romance this is exactly what i imagined 
Um, our community is so strong and we will reach that 50k goal by either next month or the month after. Oh my god. I couldn't believe it. Potentially next month we might be at 50k. Do you guys think that it would even be possible to hit 75k by the end of the year? Or do you think that's like a big push? I feel like it's an like it might we might be able to, but it's certainly gonna be difficult. Like we we might. I don't know. I just nerve wracking to put that number on it though. That would be a, a massive goal to hit though. 75k by the end of the year would be insane. I think it's possible, but definitely hard. Like it would be a big, like big push. This is really nice. Animated lights as well. Yeah, I'm downloading this. Give me that. <laughs> In the end of 2022, 20 we hit 100k, I believe it. You think we could go, we think we could gain 50k subs. In fairness, I wouldn't put it past it because when you gain, uh, when, you, when you're at like 50k, 75k subs, it's a lot easier to uh, gain subs, I feel like. Lauren, you didn't think it was possible to hit 30k and look what happened. We have faith. Uh, we will hit that. My, I feel like my biggest goal is definitely 50k by the end of the year. My goal was 50k. But if I could, 75k by the end of the year. That would be crazy. But that's like that's like the top, top goal. You know, like that's like, for me, it feels unachievable. But I'd still love it. <laughs> the venue, uh, Babs Barn, is so cute with the rustic Roman set. Cecilia, have you got Discord? Could you link it to me on the Discord if that's possible? Um, I just want to see if I'm missing anything else. I think that's it. Plus, you are also uh, streaming and YouTubing full time, so it's definitely manageable. Yeah, that's true. I'm a lot more active on my like on my YouTube and Twitch as well. So I feel like both sort of promote each other. Also, guys, I want to do something. I really want to. I really, really want to. Uh, so I started up a TikTok. I told you this the other day. I got a TikTok account. I will promote it on Discord and all this stuff so you guys can follow me if you want to, but I don't really use it yet. But I want to start promoting my Twitch and YouTube on TikTok um, because I've found this app. that They keep recommending me this app, I guess, because I've just got TikTok. And it's given me like... Um, it's like where you can go and you can put the clip in of your stream and it cuts the face cam and the video out and it adds them together on on, on a TikTok preset and then you can just upload it to TikTok. So I think it'd be like, you know, like specific funny things that have happened on Twitch, you know, like when... Um, you remember when we started playing Rags to Riches at the start? And do you remember when we had that guy that planted the weed plants in the community garden? And we was talking about how he was like trying to get away with it and trying to hide it. And that's why he wasn't using his own garden. He was using the community garden. I feel like that would be the perfect thing to like make a clip of a TikTok about and post it. Because I feel like that would be quite funny. I don't know if you guys agree. Maybe I'm the only one who finds it funny. But I was cracking up at it. And I was like, I feel like that's... The oh my God. <laughs> I feel like that's the perfect chance to, to do. <laughs> no chill oh my god four hello, months Lauren, hello chat hi Happy no chill to the most amazing streamer on Twitch. oh you sweetie also, what are we doing today we are in the middle of sorting out the wedding for the fam uh but it's all going good so hold on let me just go up and get the message back up um how are you happy four months no chill we really really appreciate you being around here could we please get some claps love and hype in the chat for no chills four month streak and uh, yeah, we're planning the wedding today. Um, we are two hours in. We've got the wedding venue and we've got all the main stuff. Um, so we're just in the middle of installing some CC. Sorry, who is this absolute gorgeous sim? I love his ears. They're so cute. <laughs> um, so we're just in the middle of planning for it. What's the theme of the wedding? So the wedding is Rustic Barn. We've already found the venue, but we're just in the middle of decorating it. So we're about to go back in with some CC and I'm going to show you it as well. Oh, look at this. Perfect. Thank you, Cecilia, for the for the link as well. Oh, it is perfect. Oh, my God. You guys give me such good links. This is really cute as well. Is that like a... That is a converted barn, isn't it? Mm, that's really cute. Right. Well, let me just grab the... Oh, that is the pack. Hold on. Wait. The Rustic Romance... Uh, requires the Rustic Romance pack. Is that the one that I just downloaded? Yeah, it is. Okay, perfect. All right, then. We'll just download that as well. Oh, yeah, and Harrison's now got a sister, and he also has his daughter as well. So we went ahead and sorted all that. We basically just did a bit of, like, cleaning up the storyline, fixing everything up today, and then planning for the wedding. And then I think the wedding is going to be happening tomorrow. That's the way I kind of imagine it, at least. Um, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Right, give this a clean, the usual mods, build by. And then the barn is going to go in tray. Here we go. And then... 
rustic romance set. I want the, oh, poses, yummy. Create a sim, build by. No Chill's real name is like gorgeous. I want to maybe uh, name my daughter that later. No Chill, are you comfortable with sharing? I want to know. <laughs> uh, Golden with the follow, Nancy with the follow, and Debbie with the follow as well. When did Harrison have a sister? Well, we had Maya redeem a crater sim redeem. And we saw this sim called Eden who looked exactly like what you would imagine Harrison's sister being. And I was like, wait, Harrison doesn't have any family. I feel like it would be perfect to um, to use it. So <laughs> my real name is my real name is Kalia. Oh, my God. That is a gorgeous name. I get you, Tiffany. I get you. I get why you would want to use that. Wait, was it, it was Tiffany who said that, wasn't it? I think it was Tiffany who said that. Oh, no, it was Daisy. Sorry. <laughs> Daisy said that you want to use that for your daughter later on. Can you show us his sister? I already just made her at the start of the stream. So if you wanted to go back on the VOD, you could watch it if you wanted to. Right, so for the gardening stuff, I'm going to go and build by. It's probably going to go in sets. Um, and let me just make it its own folder. Actually, no, no, we'll just paste it in here because it's one whole set together. Put that in there. Um, I don't know if I want the crater sim stuff. I'm just going to install it just in case there's any good stuff in there that I definitely want. But I'm going to add it in a little adult. Let me just add it in sets in a folder so I don't miss it. There you go. So I can go back through that later on if I don't want everything in there. Perfect. And then not... Does that say not base game compatible? Fable dress. Ring bearer. That's the top. Right, okay, I see. And then um, build by... Um, where did I put it in? Sets? Yeah. There we go. Perfect. Put those in there. Don't worry, I want to use her name for one of my sims. <laughs> Lauren, say my name wrong, but that's okay. No, no, chill. Tell me how to say it right. Do not let me butcher your name. Correct me, please. I want you guys to correct me when I say your names wrong, because I don't want to just continuously say your names wrong. Just uh, tell me your names, like, properly. <laughs> don't just be like, oh, Lauren said my name wrong. That's fine. Because <laughs> then I'm just going to say it wrong forever, and I'm just never going to know. So just make sure I get it right to begin with, so I can't go wrong earrings and clothes there we go let's uh let's load up the game let's go i would have to send a link on how to pronounce it send it in the discord no chill i'm gonna pronounce it afterwards so it's not kalia or kalia 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 is it kalia Oof, my name is just plain in my opinion. What's your name, Mrs. Dredd, if you're comfortable with that, uh, with, with saying it? <laughs> no, I'm trying. <laughs> hey, Ben's arm. <laughs> I feel like it's Carlia. Ka Carlia? Carlia? No chill? Carlia? Say to uh Kalia what you did yesterday with that one person's name and your mom oh no no we can't talk about that we can't talk about that am I the only one that has a problem when going into build by mode and getting uh getting like 10 or 15 frames per second capped afterwards yeah it's a bug in the game um sometimes you just have to uh click escape or go into the top right hand corner and click the three dots and sometimes it stops sometimes it doesn't uh, when I've had issues with that, I had to restart my computer and then it stops doing it. But uh, it's a bug in the game and it's just something that we have to deal with, to be honest. It's not good. <laughs> uh, Debbie with the follow, Nancy with the follow, and hashtag with the follow as well. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Everyone pronounces my name wrong, even some of my family. That's why I use my middle name, Gemma. Gemma. What's your name? <laughs> Tell me. Because for some reason, the, the people that have uh, names that I should know how to pronounce, I don't know how to pronounce. And people that people have names that they say people can't pronounce, I normally pronounce right. You guys have said, like, English names I don't pronounce right, but any other names I do. So tell me. Tell me what it is. So I can try and get it right. <laughs> uh, mini baby with a follow as well. Thank you so much for the follow. Let's go in and uh, finish building up the venue. Let's go and get it get it done. Do you use Origin to download your expansion packs? Yes, I do, Bella. Uh, Origins, Origins, one of the best places to go for it, I think, uh, and it's the cheapest because I can buy all my stuff off CD keys and then 
put them on Origin. Is there a bug with looking at Sims profiles? Mine gets stuck on romantic interest. Really? It might be. It might be. My name is Jasmine. Okay, I can I can stand by that one. Carlia. <laughs> Carlia. Carlia? Is it Carlia? Car is it Carlia or Carlia? If any of those are right. <laughs> It's the first one, car, liar, Carlia. Which one did I say first? Oh my god, oh, is it car liar or Carlia? Car lie. Oh no, no, no I so, can't remember which one I said first. <laughs> Was it car liar? Carlia. Oh bollocks, I can't remember which one I said first. <laughs> I got a little surprise for you on Twitter. Remember her, Lauren? Just tagged you. Thank you. <laughs> The second one this time. Carlia. Carlia. Is it okay, I will just say one. Is it Carlia? And if it's not, I know it's the other. Carlia. It's Carlia. With the Lee in the middle. Carlia. Okay. Carlia. We've got it. It's down. It's in there. Carlia. I got you. <laughs> it didn't just take like 50 years. Oh my goodness. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> Not the bollocks. Whenever I get something wrong, I'm like, bollocks. Bollocks. <laughs> I feel like it's like the swear word that's not redeemed. It's like it's not actually the swear word, you know? Like you get away with it a little bit more. Um, For the set that I just installed, can I just look up the name of it to find everything? What was it even called? Um, It's called the Rustic Romance. Can I just look up Rustic Moments and it will show up? hope so. Rustic. That's not how you spell Rustic. Hello? Again? Rustic. Romance. No. What about if I just type in rustic? <laughs> That's such a British saying. Yeah, I feel like not many other people would say bollocks. It's not a very common thing to say. Oh, <gasps> so this is it. Oh, okay. PTS. If I type in PTS, it should show up. Let me type that in. PTS. Yeah, here we go. Lauren, someone tried to say, uh, Lauren tried to say someone's name. No, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. You're just gonna, no. You are just giving me up. You're just sitting here giving me up on the internet. What is this? Oh, look how cute that is. That would look beautiful back there. Hold on. We need move objects on for this. We need move objects on. Oh my God. Look how cute this is. And it, I think it's got lights on it too. Oh my God. Look how cute that is back there. Oh my God. I'm dying. And look at this! Oh, it's a it's a deco wedding uh it's a deco wedding cake. Oh god, what's going on now? I don't know what's going on now. Right, let me come out here. Let me um get rid of whatever this monstrosity is out here. Oh, it's not monstrosity, but it's just massive. I'm gonna need to go throw these away. Here we go. Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Get rid of that, and then put that there and make it bigger. Is that good? That's like the deco cake, the one that you don't actually eat. Oh, oh, look at that. And I can have it like half eaten. That's so cool. Look at that. I can have it like half eaten. Thank you. <laughs> look at the wedding arch. Does it come with a new wedding arch? Did it come with a new one? Where's the wedding arch? I don't think I see it. Wait, you mean this one here? Did it come with a wedding arch that I'm missing? Am I missing a wedding arch in here? Or do you mean these little things? These garlands? Maybe it's these. <gasps> this is cute. Stop showing cakes. You're making me hungry. Oh cakes. my god. <laughs> you guys, my mum just came in and said, stop showing cakes. I was like, what? And she was like, you're making me hungry. I want to go eat cake now. <laughs> Sorry, mum. Sorry, making you hungry. <laughs> Did you hear my mum? It's just so funny. God. Do I have to make this bigger so that it fits? That's just never gonna work. Right, don't use that then. There we go. <laughs> what a mood. <laughs> Where should I put this? Should I replace this one with this? Yeah, let's replace that with that. That one's like more of a wedding sign. Is there a specific color that we're going for for the wedding guys? Like, are we going for like a crispy white or a pink or what are we thinking? Put these in the white, there you go. 
<laughs> How could you do that to your mom? I'm sorry. <laughs> What's this? Oh, it's a tablecloth. <gasps> Wait. Oh my god. How do you put that on there? Or do I have to put the table underneath it? Look how cute that is. Oh my goodness. Sorry. Why is that so darn cute? Why is that so darn cute? I want to put this in somewhere. Should I add like one big table just here? Yeah, let me take this one. There you go. I'll, put, I'll add in one big table. There we go. Put it in right here. Don't show cake. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> I'll go straight past it. Um, I'll put it in the dark. And then let me grab the tablecloth. Here we go. Let me put that underneath. Perfect. <laughs> oh, if you look up SYB, the other pack you download shows up. Thank you very much. I'll have to look up that one in a second. Um, should we go with this one in the white as well? Or should we go with the pink? The pink's quite nice, I think. And then the chairs. Oh, <gasps> they're so cute. Oh my God. Yeah. But, oh, actually, let's get rid of all these chairs. And I'm going to use the chairs that came with the pack instead. Get rid of that. Get rid of these two. Get rid of these. Perfect. Actually, I could probably change all the tables out, couldn't I? <laughs> I want cake now, Lauren. I'm sorry. I want cake all the time. So, you know. <laughs> the wedding arch is a tree. <gasps> Wait, is it this? No way. Is that the wedding arch? That's crazy. That's so pretty. Where should I put it? Should I put it over back here? Or is it going to eat through the... Oh, can I put this somewhere? Can I add this in somewhere, please? There, maybe? Is that nice? Oh, actually, I think that kind of suits there. I think, that's like, I think that actually kind of suits. I might put it there. Not use it as a wedding arch, but just use it to look pretty. Um, yeah, we'll do that one. Please tell me that you posted this on the gallery. I haven't made it. I actually downloaded it from the gallery. We're just in the middle of giving it a little makeover. But I can post it to the gallery if you want. Um, like my renovation of it. Um, but I'll make sure I credit the creator. The blue one. Might have to go with the white. That one's just not matching up very well. Yeah, I might go for the white. Actually, the white's not the... Hmm. Maybe i go for these ones outside. What colour that one yeah yeah let's go for that perfect sheila with the snacky time thank you so much baby i was actually getting really hungry so that's very useful to have a snacky time redeem give me one second let me just finish up with this and then we'll um we'll redeem your snacky time we'll get it <gasps> look at that oh my god that is so cute and these oh my god why are they so cute oh <gasps> wait this is like it with the oh my god wait where do i put this should I put that there? That's like a little welcome to the wedding sign. You know, like when you've actually just arrived. Oh my goodness. That's so cute. What one should I go for? That one? Yeah. Go find some snacks, please. Wait, wait, wait. We can't go find snacks yet. I'm not ready. Wait, wait. I'm not ready yet. Oh, we can put this one in there. And then, oh, does that one go inside? Oh, that's so cute. This set comes with so many good things. Hold on, how does that work? Oh wait, or does that go round the candle? Hold on, what? I'm confused. Does that go round the candle? No, I'm confused. What is this? <laughs> this? Oh yeah, that one suits. Yeah, let's go with that. Mm -mm -mm. In the brown. Uh, I'm going to watch the rest of the stream tomorrow. I'm tired. Bye everyone, see you later. No worries, Maureen. We'll see you later. I hope you have an amazing sleep as well. Hope everything's good. We've got some sashes. Let me see that. Very cute. Juliana with the gifted sub. Paying forward from Somberly. Thank you so much. That's really, really sweet of you. Could we please get some claps, love and hype in the chat for Juliana? Thank you so, so, so much for your first gifted sub. Thank you so much for gifting to community. I really appreciate that. Uh, oh, what are these? Oh, they're cake stands. Oh. Oh, that's perfect. Ah. Uh. Does that look weird? That probably looks weird, doesn't it? Maybe I should get that and then size the cake down. There you go. And then put the cake on it. Like that. Yeah, look at that. Displaying it. Should I put that behind it? 
Wait, what, what am I doing with this? Put that below it. That around it. Yeah. Okay, great. What's this? Dunno, but I want it somewhere. <laughs> you want me to gonna kill you? Oh yeah, we looked at cakes. Sorry, mum. I needed to finish off the cake decorations. <laughs> oh, they've got their own little Oh my god, look at this. This is so perfect. Sorry, I'm just getting way too excited about this stuff. <laughs> so this has got oh, so this is a banquet table. Right, put that there and put that like that. Change this into the dark colour. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, get that out there. And then, oh, look at these little benches. That's so cute. <laughs> Hi, Shay. I just finished my last exam. Oh, my God. Congratulations. I bet that is a massive weight lifted off your shoulders. And uh, I just made it to your live. Hi. Welcome to the live stream. I hope the exams went well. I'm sure they did. But time to not stress about them and to just chill now that you've finished all your exams. And it's over. <laughs> I'm going to go to my grandma's on Saturday after weeks. I'm going to draw with her and make dinner with her. She's pretty lonely since my grandpa died 14 years ago, but we will never admit it. Her friend died this month too from cancer, which she survived from. Um, so she feels especially sad. She took care of me um, as my second mom. And I really want to give her all the love back. Oh, Daisy, that is so cute, honestly. Your nan definitely deserves every little bit of love. And I'm sure it's going to be really, really nice to spend some time with her as well. So that's going to be really nice for you. That's going to be really, really sweet. Might go with the light over there as well. Yeah, I think we'll do that. And then over here, uh, we need the little chairs. Let's go for the white chairs on these ones with the pink. Perfect. Let's go for the white chairs over these ones. Perfect. Put that at the back. Very cute. And then on these ones, we'll go with these chairs. Yeah, there we go. Grab those. Uh, thank you to da uh, Darja with the follow as well. Thank you very, very much for the follow. Inside, um, should I change the chairs over? Hold on. So, uh, somebody link. You know the other thing that I downloaded? I downloaded another uh, wedding pack. What was the name of... What, was, what do I type in the search bar to find the other wedding pack again? Somebody did tell me, but I'm an idiot. I forgot already. <laughs> if you could resend it so I can find it again. <laughs> SYB. Okay. So remember P P T S and I'll remember SYB so that I can type this one in. Thank you very much. I just want to plan my future wedding in the Sims now. <gasps> oh my god. Look how cute that is. I mean, is that is this the one that's supposed to oh, oh, so cute. Oh my god. What colours have we got? Oh my god. Should I go for the one with the pink on it? What's this? What's that? I want to use that. Oh my god. There's so many good packs. Oh god. Let's go for the white one. Let me get rid of these. And I'll replace them with these. There you go. Perfect. Oh, actually. That's a little... That doesn't work, does it? You come down a bit. There you go. Perfect. Put that there. Great. Grab this. Hi, uh, where are you getting your CC from? My subscribers linked it to me, but I think most of them were on Tumblr. There we go. Pull this one up a little bit. Perfect. Put that just there. And then we'll do it to so these ones too. Oh, this is so cute. I'd actually want to get married here. I'm not even going to lie. Like, look how dead sweet this is. Not me wanting to get married already. Just because I built a nice venue in The Sims or I didn't build it because I renovated it. <laughs> Put that up one. I don't know if anyone uses uh, organizations apps, but I have my entire wedding planned on Notion. I have, I don't actually use, um, I don't actually use organization apps just because I'm terrible. <laughs> I can't have a plan for anything, just never stick to it. Here we go. Let me replace all of these chairs as well. So they're normally like a little, like off, which I quite like. Here we go. And then these ones. I kind of like the old chairs because they were a bit bigger though, but it's fine. There you go. Perfect. Okay, I think that's cute. Bring this one back a little bit. What do we think? Let's look at some more stuff. Been taking notes right now. Well, no, technically, I'll be the one planning the wedding, so he doesn't need to take notes, you know. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Wait, wait. Oh, that's going to be... Oh, wait. So what colours does it come in? Wait, do I use the pink ones? Oh, yeah, I think I should use the pink ones. Wait. Oh my god. Please. 
please. Is this, yeah, this is all the new CC we downloaded. Now we're just like going crazy. <laughs> Get these all the way down the aisle. Oh my God, that's so cute. There you go, perfect. Lauren, you missed my highlighted messages. My first name is Tov. Is it Tov or Tov? I think I'm saying it right, Tov, right? Please tell me I'm saying it right. Oh, and a little welcome sign. Welcome to our wedding. Wait. Okay, move this one over and put that there. And then I'm going to have the little welcome to our wedding sign over here. Oh my god. Look how cute that is. <laughs> I'm going to cry. <laughs> so cute. What's this? Oh, it's a really cute tree. And then we've also got another wedding cake. You know, you can never have too many wedding cakes. Let's just have another one in here. And then we have an old piano. Um... Oh, actually, that piano looks like it suits in here more than that one. So I'm going to swap them out. Oh, for the tree, there's a little engraving for it. Is there? That's insane. <gasps> Wait, this? Wait, what does this look like? <gasps> Can I overlap them over the each other? Oh, my God. What do you guys think? Hmm? What do we think? Should I have it in the white? Oh my god, yeah. Let's have it like that so it kind of overlaps with the lights. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I like it. Let's go for that. And then, what's this? Does this have to go for the table? Oh yeah, I think so. Oh yeah, that's stuff for the table. There we go. Let me just put some of those around. Perfect. Hi, Midnight. Welcome back to the stream. How are you? Oh, and we've got some plates as well. Like, to look like people are all set up. I mean, that's nice, but no. And then these are what goes on top of the cake. Um, so can I put it on top of this cake? Let me go with the man and the wife. Oh my God, come on. Look at that. Oh God, what colors does it come in? Let's go with the pink. That one, there we go. Oh my God, I'm getting so excited. I don't even know why. <laughs> There we go. Is this a little microphone as well? Yeah, it's a little microphone. Somebody's going to want to make a speech when we're here. So we'll just pop the little microphone. Probably would be here, right? Probably would be... Maybe here? There. Is that the right way? Like that. Yeah, just on the edge. Perfect. For Sylvie's wedding outfit, could you give her a braid with flowers in it? Yeah, so I was definitely thinking we'll do Sylvie's wedding outfit in tomorrow's stream. Um, because I think there's some more CC that I want to download for that. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you guys think we should do that? This is like a little torch. Oh, we'll get some little torches out there too. What's this? Oh, some little like ceiling hanging things. Cute. Mm, am I missing anything else? I think I've got everything. Let me just look on P... Was it PTS? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we do have the snacky time. Sorry, I completely forgot about snacky time. Okay, guys. We had... Was it Sheila? I believe it was Sheila. Let me just double check. Sheila, we had the snacky time. Okay, guys. You know what snacky time is. It means you have two minutes to go off. Go grab a snack. Come back with whatever snack you've got. If you can't go grab a snack, go grab a drink. If you can't go grab a drink, go grab a gaming blanket. Just grab something that will make you feel comfy for the rest of the stream. We're going to be finishing up the wedding venue and getting it all ready for, the, for, all ready for tomorrow. For when we actually do the wedding. So I will see you guys in two minutes. You need to be back here by nine o'clock my time or the hour, whatever it is for you in two minutes time uh so i'll see you in a second give me one sec to go grab my snack and i'll be right back i'll see you guys in a sec go grab your snackies
Walking home late at night, maybe half past two. A little drunk, but I'm alright. Cause I've been hanging with you, and it feels like love. Tell me if I'm wrong. Hello, I'm back. Guys, what snackies you got? Don't disappoint me now, okay? Don't disappoint me now. What snacks you got? <laughs> 9 p.m. for me, yeah. I got a literal can of Pinto beans, okay. Grace out with the chocolate, winning. Ja uh, ja is it Johnny? Ginny? 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 With the Oreos as well. Love Oreos, love them so much. Pete's and flour iced tea. Oh, guys, I wanted to tell you guys something. So, I've been telling you guys for the past few weeks, for the past two and a half weeks or so, I've been being really good. I've been on a diet and I've been exercising four to five times a week. I've been trying as much as I can, <laughs> especially since, like, you know, streams come up and then I'm like, oh, I'm tired. I don't want to work out afterwards, but I've been being really consistent. So, I have lost two kilograms. I went ahead and weighed myself. And considering that I hadn't lost a single pound when I was doing it before and I was trying really hard and now my diet is a little bit more lenient and I'm exercising you know and doing like hit workouts it's like 25 minutes workout every five days it's really really good and I've been really happy <laughs> so you shouldn't weigh yourself in a month yeah I know honestly I weighed myself within the first week and was like why don't I lose any but I wanted to see some progress with you know like all the you know time that I was working out I want to be healthy and I want to be fit so seeing some progress just made me feel good. <laughs> I say as I'm actually, these are only 65 calories per per bag of a popcorn. I got popcorn. Mm. I'm not supposed to be eating this, but um, I got che Cheeto Puffs. And since I'm working out even more, I lost four pounds. Yes, Mrs. Dread, queen. I changed my name and dropped my last name, added Discord, congratulations. <laughs> Hi, Ellen. <laughs> Mm. I feel so bad that I do this, but I weigh myself every day just in case. Oh no, Bumble. Honestly, it's the worst way because it can really make, trust me, I'm the first person to say, it can make you have a bad day. Like, especially for women, we hold a lot of weight just randomly, don't we? Like sometimes um, as a woman, you will like, um, as a woman, you hold like a lot of water weight, especially if we're like, you know, coming on that that week. So it's like, um, it's, it's, you know, not so good to weigh yourself every day. Just because it, your, your weight will fluctuate quite a lot as a woman. I knew you could do it, Lauren. Thank you, Tiffany. I've been trying really, really hard. So I'm glad that my work has paid off. Because honestly, if it didn't, I'd be very upset. And as I said to you guys, it's not just all about losing weight. But I want to be healthy. And obviously that comes with losing weight. Like losing weight will help me to be healthy. And get rid of any health risks that I have and everything. So I'm really uh, really up for it. I've really been enjoying exercising. It's been really fun. And honestly, it's even more motivating to see that the work that I'm putting in is actually like paying off. It's just very motivating. <laughs> have you chosen the wedding dress for Sylvie? No, we have not. I think we're going to do that in the next episode. So we'll do the wedding dress stuff. And then we'll also do the actual wedding in... Um, the episode so i think that's what we're gonna do what do you guys think oh okay i haven't done these hold on just give me a sec let me make sure that these have got the right chairs on them grab um these ones no wait the tall ones those ones there that's so freaking true and even after giving birth that way be kicking <laughs> while i'm trying to gain weight look we're all on different paths don't ever be sad or upset or anything like that we're all going through our different paths and we're all going through our different struggles. So we just have to respect everyone and celebrate everybody's, you know, whatever they're whatever they're working on, whatever goals they've hit, whether that's to lose weight, gain weight, whatever it is, we celebrate that with them. Hi water. I haven't weighed myself in over two years because it makes me obsessive. Yeah, I was I was the same, so I just stopped weighing myself. But for me, when I'm exercising, it's nice to see that my progress is working. It motivates me more to see that what I'm doing is working. So <laughs> Um, I started intermittent fasting. I've lost a bunch of good. Yes, we love that. Okay, first, I just want to say I'm a cat lover, like a crazy cat lady. And then I just want to say I bought a buggy for my cats today and walked with them today. Better for my health to walk and they can see the world now and they loved it. That's so cute. That is really sweet. Lauren, I can easily, literally eat Big Macs, double pasty burgers and fatty stuff all the time. 
I still eat my yummy vegetables and I, it, it legit goes nowhere. Some people just have natural fast metabolisms, you know, but like as you get older, it always starts to slow down. So when I was younger, I used to get away with eating like that all the time. And then gradually as I've gotten older, especially since I've on, been on like the pill, that just like, phew, balloon. <laughs> that, the pill is just, yeah, it did me dirty. Did me, did me really dirty. <laughs> but hey, it's not like that for everybody. The buggy is a cheetah. Oh my god, that's so cute. Lauren, you are young. Yeah, I know. Which is why it's like, I'm 20, turning 22. So like, I want to be in good shape like i don't want to give myself any health risks or anything like that at the age that i'm at the, at the age that i'm at now i want to you know make sure that i'm being healthy and looking after myself mm. okay um i'm not sure if i want to get rid of these and replace them with the little the little things here nah no nah, i'll leave them there you go i'm just trying oh something went past my eye face <laughs> lauren you're only 21 you're talking like you're in your 30s okay listen I just want to make sure I'm taking care of myself. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with wanting to take care of myself, especially at this age, right? This is the age when you do start to put it on. This is the age when you, uh, your metabolism starts to slow down as a woman. It starts to slow down like 22, 23. Well, depending on what age you are. But for me, it slowed down very early. <laughs> but then I did completely ruin it. Almost 22. Yeah, that is a difference. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm just dropping my... Oh no, I lost a bit of popcorn. <laughs> I can't move my foot anymore since I've been freezing it with a spray and having it surgically removed every few months due to my family who uh, gave me an infection while swimming. Wait, really, Bumble? Wait, I'm confused. Having it removed every few months, do you mean having the foot? I'm... Wait, I'm confused. That's true, I understand. I'm glad you guys understand where I'm coming from. <laughs> Mm. It's important to love and respect yourself in any way, even if you do want to change it. Otherwise, you'll never be satisfied. Yes, exactly. I mean, as I said to you guys, the main reason why I was doing this is to get my confidence back. I felt like I lost my confidence. And I also felt like, um, you know, like being bigger. Not like I, I'm not saying that I was big or anything like that. But in terms of my BMI, I was like, you know, overweight. And I wanted to make sure that I... I'm taking care of myself. I don't, like, I don't want to give myself any reasons to have health risks. You know, as you get bigger, there's health risks of like, you know, diabetes and all this stuff. And I don't, wouldn't want to give myself diabetes at such a young age um, because the fact of, you know, I'm just being lazy and not wanting to exercise and not wanting to eat healthy. And I said, just, you know, I need to go out and sort myself out and get myself back to being happy again. <laughs> and if this, what it, if this is what it comes to, then I'm working on myself. I'm so proud of my other sister. After she gave birth, she legit looks amazing. She has little to no stretch marks. I'm so happy she's glowing and beautiful. She's turning 21 next month. Oh, that is so nice, Wisteria. Mm. I'm so glad you feel healthier. Yeah, I've started to feel so much better. I think it's more come from my food, though. Honestly, making sure that I've been eating good food has really contributed to uh, making me feel better and making me feel more confident. Even the losing weight thing, the losing weight thing is one thing, but it's more so I'm putting in the effort and I know that I'm exercising. So to my body, I'm getting fitter, I'm getting healthier, I'm getting stronger. So to me, even if the weight doesn't come off, it's like at least I'm putting in the effort to get myself in a better position, you know? Yeah, I'm being health conscious. I I'm not saying to anybody, you know, being overweight is not okay, but it's just, you know, you have to know that when you're overweight, it comes with specific health risks. Um, and as long as you're happy with that, you know, and as long as um you, you are aware of that then i don't see why anybody else should be like shamed for their body or should feel like they're not good enough or anything like that but for me my weight is a big thing like my weight is a thing where it comes with my confidence and for me i ended up you know when i got bigger i lost a lot of my confidence i didn't feel as like it was more so i didn't feel sexy i felt like i kind of lost the sexiness i felt like i got cute and it went less sexy <laughs> and i wanted to be like you know i wanted to feel good as a woman things yeah, and being underweight both have health risks. Very true. What workouts have you been doing need inspiration? So I've been following this uh, specific, like, I love how I'm holding these three popcorn bits and I've been trying to eat them for so long. Um, so it's it's, it's called um, Joe Wicks. It's a specific 
thing on uh, or as, a, as an app that you can follow. You put in all your measurements and it caters a whole workout to you. So all your workouts are catered to you. All your food are catered to you. And it's really, really good. And you go through cy cycles of like your first cycle, um, which is your first 20, 28 days. And then you move on to your second cycle. So first cycle is all HIIT training. And then second cycle is... Um, like with weights as well so you start going to the gym again which honestly i've missed going to the gym so i am really excited to go back to the gym again <laughs> can we have the wedding today please no hula we are not gonna fit it in we've already had like a two and a half hour stream now there is no way we're gonna be able to fit the wedding in the wedding literally takes like two hours in game you guys know it's an absolute mess so yeah, I think we're definitely going to do the wedding tomorrow because I don't want to have to rush it. I don't want to have to rush through the wedding. I think it was just nice to plan for the wedding today. And then we actually get to do the wedding tomorrow. Um, somebody just said that they wanted to see the kiddos. So here is little Winnie. Winnie takes so much after her... Um, she takes so much after her dad. So when you see her when she ages up, she has like a m much more similar features to her dad than she does with her mum. She does have features of her mum, but not so much. Like her lips are like her mum's, I think. Um, and then uh, Coda takes after his dad by a lot. Um, sorry, takes after his mum by a lot, but his lips are his dad, which is really weird. They've both got little features of their mum and their dad, but mainly they're the complete opposites of each other. PSA to Sylvie and Harrison's next child. Please have ginger hair. I really hope one of the kids end up having ginger hair. If not, I'm going to make one of the kids have ginger hair. Because I feel like I really want Harrison's hair to carry through to some of the children. So at the very least, I'm going to have one child have ginger hair like Harrison. Or even if it's like a brownie ginger incorporated together, I really want that. <laughs> Winnie is so gorgeous. Oh, I'm glad you like her. Honestly, both of the kids are really cute. They're both really, really sweet. Um, I think you guys already saw Teddy. Teddy's looking really cute too. I'm very excited to see him when he grows up. Let's let's see Teddy. Let me give you him too. Here we go. Teddy takes after his mum and his... Hello? Hello? Hello, Teddy? Teddy takes after his mum and his dad. He's kind of in between, but I haven't seen him as he ages up. So the other kids are aged up off screen just to have a look at them to find out what skin details I wanted to go for. Um, but Teddy, I didn't get a chance to see. Teddy's a librarian, by the way. Don't do him dirty like that. Come on. Cecilia, I have to go. Enjoy the rest of your day or night. I'm a teacher and have to get up early tomorrow. Have fun. No worries, Cecilia. I hope you have a good day at work tomorrow teaching and hopefully we'll see you soon as well. I can't wait to see how they all look when they get older. Me too. I'm really, really excited. <laughs> uh, uh, Sophie Row with the follow and Miss Heartbreak with the follow as well. Thank you guys so much for the follows. Okay, so um, can I have Harvey and Erin try for a baby? I really want Sylvie to convince Harvey to try for a baby with Erin. I don't know what their relationship's like though. Um, friendly, encouraged to mate with Erin. Here we go, here we go. Right, I'm gonna see if Harvey and Erin wanna mate because I did promise that we was gonna get a generation of doggies started. So let me ask, let me ask if he fancies mating with Erin. Let me check, are you guys up for it? Oh, look at him howling. Go do your thing, Harvey. Go do your thing. Go and grab your girl, Erin. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I, did I ever check that? No, Harvey's not uh, neutered. I was just making sure. Are they going to do it? Please tell me she's going to be accepting. <gasps> look at him. Yes. Look at them. So cute. No, don't watch. Don't watch. You don't want to see this doggy love. Okay, he's, they finished it very quickly. There better be babies going on there. Okay, that, might, that was very quick. <laughs> Can I be named after the firstborn? Yes, flaming, of course. Um, I, I asked you, did you want to be named after the girl or the boy? Because you redeemed the uh you redeemed the name as the name is uh name an animal, right? So did you want to be after the girl or the boy? Which one was it? Um Harrison, I need you to come out here and look after the garden as well. So I'm just gonna come have him take care of here. Flaming said any gender. Girl preferably, but I don't mind. Okay, I've got you. So you want to be born after the, you want to be after the firstborn. So um, I'll just whatever gender it is, I'll name you after the first. Um, or well, what if they all end up being boys? I don't know how this works. <laughs> Write it down with the puppy with flaming. It's okay. I've got that in my rewards queue, and honestly, you guys remember anyway. So I'll make sure you guys ask me before I, I add any names in case I forget. Because I'm an idiot. Oh my god! Look at the little baby chick. Who's this one? Daisy, look at you go, babes. Look, you're like the 100 meter sprinter. Look at you. Wow. Go, Daisy. Go, Daisy, you cutie. <laughs> What's your max household members? I've got it set to 12. 
So, um, we'll see if there's enough. If probably... Oh, guys, yes! Oh, my God. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, my God. Erin is going to be expecting puppies. Yes! I'm so excited. I'm very, very excited about that. We're going to have some cute little puppies. Look at them! Sorry, why is that the cutest little thing ever? Sorry. What? That's so cute. That is so cute. Mm -mm. Okay. Sylvie, what are you doing? Stop sleeping. It's like 9 p.m., babes. Come over here and give our pregnant doggo a bath. Come here and give her a bath and then also offer your friendship to her. <laughs> Harrison needs his hair in a man bun for the wedding. I was actually thinking we would change Harrison's hair, guys. He is my sexy Viking, I know, but I feel like we should change his hair. It is a bit of a staple piece on him at the minute, but it would be nice to give him another hair at one point to try. So maybe for the wedding, he tries a different hair and then maybe he keeps it afterwards because he really likes it. I was thinking we might try something like that. So I think, um, honestly, I love I love him and his Viking look, but I think it might be nice to change something, you know? <laughs> Are you going to go wash the doggy? Yeah, she is. Oh, I think she napped because she was sick. Yeah, she had a cold. Yeah, man bun. One of the dogs looks sick. I don't think they're sick. I think she's just dirty. I'm a track star. I go Zoom. <laughs> Mm. Why are you washing her with the bandana on? Okay, whatever. Are you going to do the crater sim for the wedding today? No, there's a few more crater sim stuff I want to install. I want to see if I can find like a crown that has like flowers incorporated into it or something like that for, for uh, Sylvie to wear. I want to find something like flowery and rustic for her to wear on the wedding. So I'm going to go install some CC before tomorrow. <laughs> um, Is the wash tub full? Oh, yeah, it is. Hold on. Is it washed? Oh, it's dirty. How is it dirty? Hmm? It's dirty and soaked. Unload and set the laundry down and then put it in there and wash it. Why is that so difficult? I think S Club has something. If you guys see any rustic wedding themed cc that you think would look nice on any of the kids or sylvie or harrison go ahead and put it in the discord for me to download please so i can get it um because i really don't want to miss out on anything right you go and get that washed in the wash tub where are you going the wash tub's actually here oh my god look how sad she is three more days of mourning the dead the dead um dead oh kylie's getting on in years don't make me cry right now when will we play Whimsy? I think we're not going to play Whimsy this week because we've got the um, Rags to Riches wedding to plan. And obviously the wedding planning took all of today. And then I really want to do the wedding planning. Or I really want to pl play the wedding out. And if we don't do the wedding tomorrow, then we won't get a chance at all this week. So we're going to do the wedding tomorrow for Rags to Riches. And then Saturday is no stream. And then Friday, uh, sorry, Sunday, we're back with, um, we're back with, um minecraft the hardcore series that me and ben are doing and then next week we'll be back with more whimsy again so it will be back to the normal schedule next week but i just want to make sure that i definitely do the wedding um i've only got one more day of streaming um this week before the weekend so yeah i mean you guys love racks to riches anyways i know that you guys miss uh you know whimsy but at least we got it back like last week so we we haven't not seen them after she after she passes, reincarnate her as a as a cow. Wait, is, who is a cow? Daisy the rooster is iconic, and Sylvie knows that. We've got Daisy the 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 uh, hen now, the baby hen. See, we've got her back. It's fine. <laughs> okay, babe, you going to the gym with dad? Okay, have a good time. I miss Whimsy, but to be honest, I prefer watching Rags to Riches, at least for now. Yeah, I mean, personally, if I talk about what I prefer playing, I definitely prefer playing Rags to Riches at the moment. I love Whimsy. Whimsy has been really fun for me. But because there's this whole excitement around the new pack and Rags to Riches, and I've just been really invested in this story, um, I've been enjoying playing Rags to Riches. So as much as I want to bring Whimsy back, my priorities are definitely more with Rags to Riches. And you guys seem to prefer Rags to Riches. The last Rags to Riches episode that went up a few days ago already has like 6k views. Um, and that's in like two days or something that has been up. So you guys seem to clearly love it as well. And everybody on YouTube seems to love it as well. And we've had loads of people coming over from it and enjoying it. So I want to, you know, ride the wave that you guys are excited on. Because I'm excited too. Mm. I know, I need more chairs. I know. <laughs> the Codger's Living Pack has been so good so far. One of the best packs in terms of gameplay since um, the first few packs for games come out. So, or the first few packs for Sims come out. So, I've really enjoyed it. But 
Okay, let's not leave it off here. Where's where's Sylvain? Let me see you, Sylvain. What are you doing? Let me see you, honey. Where'd you, where are you? Just washing. <laughs> Rax the Witch is my number one, not gonna lie. <laughs> Agreed. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. Honeypot with the follow and Alec with the eight bits as well. Thank you so much for the bitties. Could we please get some claps, love and hype in the chat for Alec and Destiny with the follow as well. If any of you guys are new and you wanted to follow the stream, I would really, really appreciate it. If you want to come back and watch more Rags to Riches or watch the wedding tomorrow or anything, if you want to follow now, if you are new. <laughs> but uh, we are going to go ahead and end the stream off here and I will see you all again tomorrow for the wedding, 6 p.m. I think what we're going to do is move the streams to 6.30. I think 6.30 is actually better for me. So I think we're going to move tomorrow's stream to 6.30 instead as well. If you guys are okay with streams being at 6.30 instead of 6 uh, for most nights, if that's okay. But I will see you all tomorrow. I'm just going to go double check and see if there's anybody who we can raid as well. Dayla with the tier one, sub, oh, tier one sub. Thank you so, so, so much. Please, could we get some claps and love in the chat for Dayla? Thank you so, so, so much for the tier one sub. That is insane. We've also got Melpy with the follow, uh, Botcat with the follow as well, and Honeypot with 100 bits. Thank you so, so, so much for the biddies. Could we also get some claps, love and hype in the chat for Honeypot as well? Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> right. Um, in the Sims 4 category, who have we got? Um, I think the only person on here that I recognize is uh, Little Simsy. I think the only one I, I recognize on here is Little Simsy. So I think we're going to go ahead and raid Little Simsy if you guys are okay with that. And then I will see you all again tomorrow at 6.30. Type in exclamation mark raid in the chat. If you are a sub, go ahead and copy and paste that and grab your pitchforks ready for the raid so you can use your emotes in the raid and make sure little simsy knows that we, you know she needs to grab her shield because we're pillaging <laughs> so let me go ahead and sort out the raid and i will see you all again tomorrow um little simsy start raid there we go okay i will see you all again tomorrow thank you guys so so much for coming to the stream i love you all and i will see you all then um, yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, evening, night, whatever time it is for you, and I will speak to you all later. Bye, guys. <laughs>